supposedly everything's correct and we have another good time playing Skyrim. Let's check this version. Oh, come on. Where's my Starfield? I want sales. There's no sales. All right, I'm getting tired, but I have room so I can actually go and, and, uh, what the fuck? I'm going to cleanse the sandstone. For that, I'm going to explore the shores. Because that's, that's what I like to do. I like to explore the fucking shores. Obviously. Where bears do? These guys are no jokes. Are you shitting me? I'll need a shout for that. Let me see if this band will, will, will help. <laughs> well, they didn't pursue. Okay, it didn't work for them. Oh, come on. Problem that it's three. What? Dude, ow. I'm missing. These guys are enormous. Why am I missing them? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god! This guy's dead. Oh Holy shit! Can you stop? What? Oh my god, dude! How many arrows we have here? Give me your fucking soul, goddammit! There's more ruins here. I'm gonna have to go for it. Is it too far? Kind of. Yeah, this is like huge. It's not like I'm going to miss this. What the fuck? Where did you fall from? What? There's deer falling from the sky dead now? What the fuck? Let me go to this tree. There's an enormous tree and look at the, the bulk of it.
Yeah, there's this here. And I have the correct shout. Guys, enemies? Who are them? Are you enemies? There's something you need, Sarah. So they're not enemies. Okay, they're reavers, and they're not attacking me. that knife from my boot. bottle of mead. Sarah. That they always take the good stuff. Yes, Sarah. This is just me Sarah. Yes, Sarah. So finally, some fucking criminals my realize my I did some favor for them. Some flare secret sounds only call for powers once a day. Some flares. A 100 point fury explosion center on the caster. Does more damage to closer targets. Single use, they must be required at the sunstone. Okay. Got it. Up that filthy farmer when I see him. Interesting that they didn't attack me. Does make sense? Because they are called reavers, they should attack me. But I'm not going to complain. And now there's this large tree. There's a quest here and oh my god, my keyboard. Dude, every day. Like I do something wrong. <laughs> Let me clean this very fast, guys. Drink water, by the way. And make yourself be thirsty so you can drink water better. Okay, it's just number one, two, three, T, W, E, R, A, S, T, F, V, V, X, C, V, spacebar, enter, and the coin tubes. That's it. Clean. Emperor Parcel Moss? What? Oh, I already know. Okay, we have fire from it. What's we done here? What is this quest? Talk to Nelof. Oh, this is part of the main quest. So let's let's do it. Definitely. Emperor Parcel Moss. Also, I need ebony ingots. These are the net netches, netch, netches, right? Fuck. Why are you out here? Aren't you supposed to be in the tower? Of the Master this Nella? summoning work. If you must know. I'm trying to get this Ash Guardian spell to work. Now let me concentrate. I don't think you belong here. What is this, this place? This is Master Neloth's tower. <laughs> He's a Telvanni wizard. Telvanni? What are the Telvanni? You've never heard of the great houses of Morrowind? No. House Telvanni is the house of the Master Wizard, one of the ruling houses of Morrowind. 
Master Neloth is one of the oldest and most respected members of House Telvanni. Do you work with Neloth? Not so much with... as for. I am Master Neloth's apprentice. He's teaching me the art of sorcery. Is Master Neloth a good teacher? Um, well, he is a very great wizard. It's a great honor for him to have taken me as his apprentice. To be honest, it's horrible. He's very unpleasant and hardly teaches me anything. Sometimes he uses me in his experiments. Even so, I pick up a lot from just watching him. Uh, who the fuck is that? Are you practicing a spell? Yes, I'm trying to summon an Ash Guardian. I'm just having trouble deciphering Master Neloth's handwriting. I, I don't mean to be rude, but I need to concentrate. Master Neloth has a lenny with repairing the tower. That whole th What's a heart stone? stones are only found on Solstheim, as far as I know. Master Neloth believes they may be fragments from inside Red Mountain that were flung here during the huge eruption 200 years ago. Really? Mm -hmm. We don't get many visitors. Is there something you need? What is this place? Tell Mithrin. It's the home of Master Neloth. You may have heard of him. He's a famous Telvanni wizard. He was in a giant mushroom? In Morrowind, the Telvanni grow buildings from special fungus spores. Mm. Master Neloth grew one here to be his home. Don't ask me how. <laughs> are, you, <laughs> are you one of Neloth's apprentices? <laughs> no, Talvis cool. is his apprentice. I'm his steward. I manage the day-to-day -day affairs of Telmithrin. All right, then. Talvis says Master Who else leaves here? Talvis is Master Neloth's apprentice. If you're interested in spells, he might be willing to sell you some. Elenya is our alchemist. She specializes in mushrooms and other types of fungus. Ulves runs the kitchens. Okay, cool. It's on your head. So there's several people here. So I'm going to start here. The Mithrin Apothecary. Take a look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. I don't care if he's a master wizard. He can't treat me like this. What do you have for sale? I've say? got the best selection of mushroom and fungi. Fungi. Cure disease. Two shots and that. Oh, sorry. Mm. Fifty five of those should put away some. What do you do for Master Neloth? I am his mycologist. He may have grown Tel Mithrin by himself, but I nurture it. Mushrooms and fungi are my life's work. When I saw Tel Mithrin, I knew I had to be here. I've learned so much since then. Did you grow this tower? Me? No. That's Master Neloth's doing. I wasn't even born then. What? It's Telvani magic at its best. He brought the cuttings with him from Morrowind, and used sorcery to grow them. Did you come here from Morrowind? Yes. That was a lifetime ago. I was just a young girl when Red Mountain erupted. Master Neloth was already old. My mother put me on a boat to Skyrim. The last time I ever saw her, she was standing on the dock as my ship sailed away. Master Neloth, what do you do? That fetcher told me to fix his house. If I don't, he'll find a new mycologist who will. Decades of loyal service, and he'd just throw me out like yesterday's breakfast. What do you need to fix the tower? Three taproots soaked in the headwaters of the Harstrad River. I'm an old woman. I can't possibly make that trip. It's way too dangerous. If you get some taproots, 
I'll pay you to dip them in the headwaters and bring them to me. Hold on, let me click on this. Let's see what's going on here. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's fucking Monday. <laughs> Nobody likes Monday. How are you doing, man? I'm having a blast here. Where, where can I get that root? What do you think? You have to cut it out of a spriggan. Although sometimes you can buy them from alchemists. <gasps> Sorry. Why can't you tell me about the Harstad headwaters? It's special to the Spriggans. They seem to like to gather there. Something about the waters attracts them. There are bound to be some there. So be careful. Okay, we got the first quest here. How's your Monday? Apart from being shitty. That's what, like you already stated that. Got three top roots. Um, okay. I think I'll go to Riften. I need Jay's Bay. Jay's Bay. Jay's Berries. What? Can you dab on ingots? And I need Juniper Berries. Yeah, that's Jay's Bay's. Juniper Berries. Two fingers pronated. Master Neloth was furious when the tower withered. The tower withered? So now I have the second path here. What's this? What's this? Tell me stream. That's the main building. Float up? Hold on, let me enter the other ones. And by last they come to tell me three. There's two others. Let me start by the rightmost one. The I hope kitchen. You're... There's something you need. S um, okay, the, the kitchen. It's going to be all stolen food. I'd better Can tell I Verona cook? to bring apples and cabbage from Raven Rock. Okay, cooked a little bit more. And I'm gone. And then there's this one here. Before the actual Tommy thing. Stu's house. Oh yeah, it's the woman's house. Float up. <laughs> okay, very cool. That's already cool enough. So it's a house full of shit. It's a mushroom house. I don't recall inviting you into my tower. I do hope you make this worth my while. I hear you know where to find black books. You refer to the tomes of esoteric knowledge that old Hermaeus Mora has scattered throughout the world? What could you know of them? I've dealt with Hermaeus Mora before I've read the Ogma Infinium. Have you? The actual Ogma Infinium? That's it. I've searched for it myself for many years without success. Well then, you should know better than anyone that Hermaeus Mora is not to be trifled with. But he is subtler than most subtler. of the other Daedric princes, as you would expect of the Prince of Knowledge and Fate. You seem to have escaped the fate of many who find themselves <sighs> ensnared forever by the law of his secrets. Or perhaps not. Black's book has something to do with Hermaeus Mora. You didn't know. Hmm. I thought it was obvious. <laughs> Hermaeus Mora something. has always tried to seduce mortals into his service with the law of forbidden knowledge. Where the black books actually came from, really? no one really knows. Exposure. Some appear to have been Code exposure. I used it for Winter Orb. Be from the future. 
Apparently, time is more malleable if you're the Daedric Prince of Fate and Destiny. What then? Frost Bomb, I use it with Interorb, and I use a uh, Curse and Hit with Frost Bite. To oh no, yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, there is that as <laughs> well. That is so powerful! I, I was going to... I'm planning one day I'm going to kill Maven, and I have to have Frost Bomb with me because she regains the shit out of her life, right? So... I have to not let that happen. Man, this game is vast. <laughs> this game is really vast. And that's why I like to vary builds, because you, you know different shit from doing different things. I found a black book. Did you kill any bosses? Are you on it doesn't matter if it is on standard or hardcore. Did you kill the, the Searing, the Eater, the Maven maybe? <laughs> I found a black book. No, what are you trying? Because the only reason you wouldn't have killed is if you're not trying. Because some time has passed. Are you like are you happy with like any weapon or shield from oh, Crucible? I put? Oh if you're going to be up here, I'll be there. stay okay. out of my way. Um I hear you know where to find black books. You refer to the tomes of esoteric knowledge that old Hermaeus Mora has scattered. What could you know of? I found a black book, I need to find a more. Found one? Yeah. And you read it too, didn't you? Don't try to deny it. You've got the look. I can nice. see it. Nice. righteous fire. Dangerous knowledge is still knowledge and therefore useful. Usually it turns out to be the most useful in my experience. Yeah, dangerous knowledge. I have to know what Mirak knows if I want to stop him. Mirak? The one all the town folk are always chanting about? Yes, may have noticed it is trying to return to Solstein. Well... I knew something connected with Hermaeus Mora was spreading its influence across the island. I wasn't sure that it was in fact the same entity as this legendary namesake of the central temple, although the villagers seem quite convinced. I had to find a five or six linked chest. Are you going fully source of farms? Have you tried linking one? Or, or do you not have fuses enough? Do you know where I can find another black book? Oh yes. They're not hard to locate once you know how to look for them. I have one here that I've been using to locate more. You have a black book? Yes, I haven't been idle while this fascinating madness engulfed Solstheim. But my book isn't what you're looking for. I'm quite sure it is unconnected with this Mirak. But I do know where to find a black book that can help you. The Crucible League, I played one character until I died, right? I died and then I quit. I didn't like Crucible League. Like, I really didn't like Crucible League. But that's another subject. The thing is that I spent 80 fuses. And I linked my Cloak of Flame. I think it was 81 or 79 or 80. But it was very close to 80 in the margin of 1. And I linked it. <laughs> of course, the other leagues I spent 2,000, 1,000, but... You have to try, you will not know if you don't try. I have no exalts, one five link time item period. Okay, that's horrible. I want the book you have here, help me. Oh, Drop the shit. it is oh clearly God. not associated with the same power that has overtaken the island. And I'm not talking about Hermaeus Mora. These black books are all his, of course. No, what you're looking for is a specific book, presumably because Mirak's power derives from it. It's getting better, but so far running tier 10 maps, drops of shit. Well, if you have a 5 link, you can go, uh, in my opinion, until like tier 12, tier 11, because in tier 13 plus, it, it starts to get much more difficult, and then you have to kill things fast. And for that, 6 links help very much. So you know where to find this black book, the one connected with Mirror. Yes, Arc. I do. I haven't been able to and get water. it. But maybe together we can unlock the secrets the Dwemer left behind. The Dwemer? What do they have to do with this? Forbidden knowledge was somewhat of a specialty of the dwarves, eh? You don't think they would just leave it alone, do you? It seems the ancient Dwemer discovered this book and took it to study. I found their reading room in the ruins of Nachardak. The book is there, but it's sealed in a protective case which I wasn't able to open. But perhaps the two of us, together, will be able to get at the book. Tuna Chardak, then. Follow me. 
Yo, save the game. And then I'm going to open Path of Exile here real fast. I need a 5 link chest, you know, to get my 4th ascendance. You need to get gems 20% quad quality flip. Are you playing the game? Okay, I don't know how many hours you're playing the game. I'm just being mean here. But, yeah, you just need time, I guess. Because the moments that I got... Since I was playing mostly solo self found, I barely traded this league. I feel like a fucking hero. Because it's the first time that I do this. I, I spent so much time in Sanctum League that I actually learned a lot. Because I loved a league so much. Sanctum League was better than Blight, in my opinion. Blight was my top one, like the, the, my favorite league so far. And then Sanctum made that possible again. I think I played 75 or 80 days. I played very much. I loved it. And you were there to see. And I learned so much. And this character, the only one that I did, it's, I think was this one here. Let me just see. I played it mostly so far. So far. By the end, I was trading a little bit. I made my own chest. I made my enchants. I made. I go. I went to the, the to lab. I, I did everything. I got I, these. I didn't get. I, I I bought this, but I was about to farm this shit. I was going to farm this. So yeah, that is the character. Let me see. For example, look that that these pairs of gloves are not the best, but they're decent. Because one thing that you want is a lot of region, and. I have a lot of regen from the gear, 467, plus the golem is like 900. So basically, damage over time is very, very diminished. Um, this, oh, I even posted, I tweeted. <laughs> I, <laughs> I tweeted, look at this, look at this belt. 54 <gasps> strength, 72 maximum life, 112.3 life per second regen, 33. Chaos resistant and increased flash life recovery rate and 25 life per second enchanted with maximum mana. Holy shit. What a belt. Of course it could be better, but that's like insane. <laughs> uh, only mostly weekends. My regen in RF is like 1,800. Yeah, it should be, right? So let me see these boots. Man, I, this character was, was insane. And I play this character mostly solo self found. This is incredible. So... I had the exposure that I applied myself. I didn't buy this. And then I found this this good plus one maximum code here. The, all the gems have plus 20. Oh no, the, the, the golems I didn't care. Or faster attacks for the golems. But my level lines, I didn't care either because it doesn't matter. Uh, Tempest Shield, did he have plus 20? I think he, I, I wouldn't care too. Clarity wouldn't care. Lighting Golem wouldn't care. But the rest is all plus 20. Okay. All of it plus 20, da, 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 because of the... You just reset them when they get to 90. When you get to like 89 or 90. The ring... Oh, it farms this ring. That's what I like to do, Delve. Let me see your scepter. That's a decent scepter that I found in the campaign. With cast speed, fire damage for spells. Oh no, I think I crafted this. I crafted this. This was... Was it crafted? I don't know. Wait. The cat wanted out. I don't know if I crafted this. It looks like I crafted because... It's it's so insane, this fire damage spell. I think I crafted, but it should be showing essence here. When you craft, it shows essence. I don't know if I crafted this, man. Maybe I bought this. Maybe I bought this. The first one I crafted and it was as good as this one, but didn't have the cast speed. And then this one I found in the trade and then I bought because it, it had the same values of mine, like approximately, and 23% increased cast speed. Now the tree, it's not even that good. It's uh, increased implicit modifier magnitudes, so that really helps. Really helps. Right? Um, doesn't matter. A minimal endurance charge, very good. Frenzy charge is a, is a shame that I couldn't find an item to have minimal frenzy charges, but it's, that's like luxury for the elementalists that I do. Empire charges don't really matter. But yeah, minimal endurance charge made me even tankier. And then explicit elemental damage modifier magnitudes. You see? Yeah, I had 15% explicit 
and 25% increase in implicit. So that's why it was 30% of metal damage and then 50, and yeah, it was good, except it was this, this Maybe not very good for RF because cast speed doesn't matter for RF, but cast speeds matter very much for, for ignite builds because it, you, you ignite and then you run, then you ignite and then you run. You don't want to like spend like not even one second igniting. Like this game is, they are trying to make the meta uh, slow, but the game is super fast. So they're like, I don't know. I found this ring. I found this ring. It's insane. You just have to spam delve until you find those clusters that are like elemental damage, and you'll find very easily the curse elemental curse enemies with something on hit. This was like, I bought, I bought this and another cloak of flame, and the other cloak of flame I managed to. It was like 50 fire resistance, 52. I managed to five link it, and then I used it until I could link this one here. But it was my first attempt. I had like 250 fuses, and then I decided to start, and then I spent 80, 81, and I six links, so I had a heart attack, oh! And then I changed up immediately, look, 72 fire, almost maximum. And that's the new meta for me. 40% of physical damage taken as fire damage. This is insane. It's in fucking insane. It's like, it doesn't matter. I don't use uh, um, determination here. I do not use the termination. Once I have this, I don't use the termination. This here is steel skin. This here is flame golem. And shield charge stone golem. This, together with the buff of those the, the, the chaos golem, together with the minimal endurance charge from this shit here. Wow, dude, I was tanky as fuck. And unique presence, da 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 da, less regen. regen and physical damage of spells was the best thing. I was still trying to get a better Azark for the helmet. The shield was decent too, look. 5% increase in strength plus 30 armor. And 30 life gain when you block plus 3 chance to block. I couldn't find a better one. But the... the, the so the crucible, we only have here 30 to block and 30 life when you block. And like, this is nothing, whatever. But this here... This shield is insane. <laughs> oh my god! And I, I found this on ROG. I made this fucking shield on ROG. So implicit with maximum life, are you using the three nodes that gives you damage from increase to your minions? I'm using the RF with endurance charges too. Yep. You know my build. I've showed you my build several times. These two here. I find easier to map with fucking golems around because they tank. Because my character is tanky. Pretty tanky, but I'm not made to be facing everything. Especially with some crazy mods in tier 16. No, I prefer the, 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 the golems to do the, the heavy lifting. Or else I'm, I, I'm just going to have to skip a lot of shit. For example, I cannot do hard harvests without golems. I cannot do har hard uh, excavations without golems. I will just be flooded with hits. And it's not going to be good because it's not going to be good. And I killed the Zark with Heart of Destruction and Shaper of Storms. Without the golems. I killed the Zark without the golems. It was... I had a close call, just because I fucked up at some point in there. But I learned, even from that fuck up I learned. And the Amulet too, I, I enchanted Holy Fire. That is Fire Damage Over Time Multiplier, more Fire Resistance, God damn it. My resistances were 78, 76 and 75. And 75 Chaos. 27 block attack damage. I had spell block too because of the Tempest Shield. I mean, this build was very... Look at the fucking helmets. Regen 41 life, 19 kills, 46 lightning, 121 life, and 552 armor. Look at this shield. 44 reduced extra damage from critical strikes, 1086 armor, 107 life, plus 3 to maximum fire resistance, and 8% additional physical damage reduction. There is this too that helps me with... Dude, my builds are great. <laughs> I, I love this build. I'm going to see... This is a zero DPS build. I, I have like 1.1, 1, 1 million, 1 1.2 million DPS damage like effectively with my ignites. Which is like a 2k DPS build for a hit build it's like 1 million it's pretty decent with, with for in game with ignite builds 
very happy. I, it's not. I'm not like melting the end game bosses or uber bosses, but I'm very happy with this build because it makes what I want to do. Let me see the jewel, maximum life, fire damage spell, physical damage spell, and let me see the other. Um. Oh yeah, I, I'm addicted to paying Mage Bane. Insane. So this now makes me have 28 spell suppression. Because I have spell suppression from here, from here, from here, and from here. Because I don't use Dexterity, because I don't dodge, I, I don't evade. So the Dexterity now gives me bonus to spell suppression, so I have 28. So I have a lot of spell block, some spell suppression. I can't complain, man. That's a pretty decent build. I was using here... The only thing that we, it's still shitty to get is mana, mana sustain. So I go for clarity with sovereignty, and then I go for increased mana reservation efficiency of skills with mana mastery, and dreamer, one, two, three points. I feel like it's wasted, but it's not, like it's you You need to fucking have mana. So reduced mana of skills, reduced mana of skills, and maximum mana, that's it. Mana regen, reduce the mana cost of skills. Mana regen, reduce mana of skills. Maximum mana, just reservation, just reservation. And then all the nodes for the minion damage here, minion damage here, fire damage, minion damage. Here is a sovereign. What about using arrogance of life tap? Arrogance of life tap? No, the damage plummets. There's no way. It's not even an option. Uh, yeah, sovereignty. Where is sovereignty? Is it this? Yeah, of course. So, I was investing less less in life because the the <coughs> the increased strength from here and all of my shit was so good and then I had the six life masteries allocated. Why? Because of the first one. 10% more maximum life if you have at least 6 life masteries allocated. So because I'm allocating passives into life masteries, I was removing from the tree, so I don't have this, okay? I don't have this, okay, I don't have this too. And that's it, that's what I didn't have. This was a character level 95, that was pretty decent. I don't even know what I was going to get to level 96. But this was, this was pretty decent, man. Spell suppression, like... Spell block. Let me see myself in the hideouts. Arrogance of light. Sorry, no sovereignty. The one that makes you get damage for me is also applied to you. Um, spiritual aid. Spiritual aid helps a lot. Righteous fire helps a lot. The uh, ignite builds. It's like... Not even an option not to have it. I was using clarity, I was mean to, to freeze by having it Arctic Armor. I was I was using Veil Arctic Armor. I was going to I didn't even tank anything with this. I was just testing. But it's it's insane. It is insane. Holy shit. So I was always afraid of like advancing my betrayal and doing Katarina because of the slam. Remember that I died in Sanctum League for one of the Katarina's slams? Because I was trying to get away. And every time that you get away from her, the AoE increases. So instead, you just hear the voice line and you just press the button. And you stay 5 seconds there. And you take 90% less damage from hits up to 3 hits. And so he's, she slams you, poof! It takes what? 2k life? 1k life? I don't care. It's one slam. And then ooh, you're good. You continue the fight. That's amazing. And I forgot to use this as well for for the balls in the series arc. You can tank three easily, like no problem. And of course, two skin and and flame dash. And then I have Culling strike with um, with two of the golems, chaos golem and flame golem. Dude, I love this build. I just wish. Um, GG had better damage scalability for it. this build. This build is kind of a niche. Like I made my, I make my build on golems and I ignite and yeah. Like I have 2k armor, but I have 57% phys estimated physical damage reduction. Together with the minimum maximum damage charge here. Nice. Let me see my spell block. 26 spell block. 
and 28 spell damage suppression. I died for that my dead in fucking poor George Asylum. I was good. I was actually good. <laughs> Less damage from crits, it means to freeze, it means to shock because the Tempest Shield were here. Speed was sick. Speed was actually very, very cool. Yep. So, Ignite per leaf, casting very fast. Look at the Ignite. Look how fast I'm casting the, the, the full 10. That's it, man. This build is amazing. I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. I just did this build. I fucking love this build. So, let's go. All right. Oh, I forgot to do one of these little add-ons. Where is it that we are going? Oh, we are going there! Nishar Dog. Do I have... 267? I, I'm good. Infernal Cry is so satisfying. I like Infernal Cry because of those explosions and it's it's so useful for many other things. One bottom eraser, yeah. I use this with my uh, Tectonic Slam build. But the Tectonic Slam needs some love. I can only get to 900k, not even 1 million. The Tectonic Slam, shift. Boom. Shout, shout, boof. Shout, Infernal Cry, shout, Intimidating Cry, boof. It's nice. But then it's like 1 million DPS. I don't like it. It's, it's, it takes some time. It's very tanky. But it also depends heavily on the weapon. I need a good weapon. Man, how many Flyer Manitas I'm going to find here? Bleeding Crown. Yeah, the place is full of fungi. I cleared these stones for them. Are you using exposure? You inflict applies minus 18% resistance. No. No, because one of my ascendancies already has uh, additional and the exposure has a good value. And to get a bit. Okay, let me go there. Hold on. Because I might be saying things wrongly here. Hold on. So, with the gloves implicit, you get minus 11 on exposure, right? You inflict exposure, it's, it's right here. Minus 11%. And then you have... Exposure inflict applies an extra minus 25% to the affected resistance. So this makes it be 33%. I was going to come here and get the mastery here. Okay? So... The, the the mastery I was going to get was... Oh no, I don't get this mastery anymore. They changed many masteries, I, I remember. But I used it to get a mastery here. This mastery doesn't make sense for me. Because I have, I have 43. It doesn't care. I, do, I don't care about at least. I already inflict... I don't inflict 43. I inflict... It's 25 plus 11. So 36. 43 will be if it was this one here. So yeah, no. Uh, yeah, I have that one. So... This is when you don't have this. It doesn't matter. Right? Oh, the game is, is unpaused for some reason. Yeah, okay. So I don't I don't that doesn't matter. Oh the arch spawn. I'm hungry.
so so yeah when you have that passive you don't you don't go for that mastery so with that passive together with the 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 infinite exposure on hits of of the gloves i get 36 so that passive says at least so it doesn't matter how to build for the ages these towers have outlasted their creators behind the the book is housed inside that dome i'll need to unlock the door for us Let's get on with it. The book is housed inside that dome. I'll need I to unlock the door for you. Let's a get on with it. Pockets can be more dangerous than a dragon's mouth. Here we are, Nachardak. The book we're after is right inside that dome. What can you tell me about tomorrow, Wayne? It's the homeland of the Dunmer. The lesser races call us. Dark Elves. We built great works there, like Vivek and Aldrun. Many of them are destroyed now, either by Red Mountain or the Argonian invasion. Who is Hemus Mora? If you have to ask that, it will probably be best leaving his books to wiser heads than <laughs> yours. Guy is a classic mage. Like all Daedric princes, he's not to be trifled with, but he is subtler than most of his ilk. Appropriate for the Prince of Knowledge and Fate. Many scholars and law masters have been ensnared by the lore of learning the secrets that only Hermaeus Mora possesses. But don't worry, I have no intention of joining them in their endless search through the infinite halls of Apocrypha. What are these black books? Where do they come from? Hermaeus Mora has always tried to seduce mortals into his service with the law of forbidden knowledge. Where the black books actually came from, no one really knows. Some appear to have been written far in the past. Others might be from the future. Apparently time is more malleable if you're the Daedric Prince of Fate and Destiny. Where are we headed? The book is housed in the main dome. I sealed the door the last time I was here, as a precaution against thieves and other meddlers. All right. Shall we get on? Let's go, motherfucker. And flow of life and student of decay. I know all of those. I have those by memory because all of them are damage over time nodes. <laughs> That help. Uh, burning bright. Burning bright. Widespread exertion is area damage. Doesn't work for me. Works for you. Because righteous fire inflicts area damage too, right? Mine, area damage is not desirable because it only helps on the hit. Doesn't help on the damage over time. Uh, prismatic heart, it's elemental damage. Works for me. And burning bright, I don't remember what it does. I know it's fire. And blind? But blind mechanics is dead. Like, they killed it. Like, literally to the ground. <laughs> like, there is nothing to be done with blind anymore. It was a strong layer of defense. Now it's nothing. It's 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 blind mechanics, isn't it? It's nice if you are a, a evasion character based. But I don't think you are being a righteous fire one. I don't remember running or burning bright. And then Storm Shroud, which is pretty cool. I don't remember Storm Shroud. Storm Shroud is the fire and lightning damage one. Fire damage or time multiplier, fire damage AoE. Okay, nice. Very good. Those two of those work for me, and storm shrouds. Is a chance to inflict the elemental ailment? Oh, avoid being shocked, avoid being... Avoid all the elemental ailments. Okay, un understood. Yeah, it's a layer of defense. But I have to work on it a little more. 
to have avoid being shot, to avoid everything. Yeah, that's nice. So you use Tempest Shoot and Storm Show. It's nice for Sapid for, yeah, it's it's very nice, very good for many many things. Anybody there? Deals damage to armor, what the fuck? <laughs> These games are so fucking cool. Are you playing Starfield when it comes, Chop? Are you going to forget that you have a family and just plug Starfield in your forehead? <laughs> and are you... <laughs> you probably are going to do that anyways for PoE too. <laughs> Baby... I've saved money for 18 months now, I'm quitting my job, <laughs> I'm going to be streaming POE2 now, it launches in one hour, I see you in... <laughs> so, he also transfers the Under Armour and ES Mastery. Okay, you are entering areas that I don't know about. I've done that <laughs> Oh my god. Yesterday I talked on stream about losing my hair, and then I remember my ex-girlfriend, I remember everything that I was building, and the family that I wanted to have, and then it gave me a little bit of nostalgia of my dreams and things that I wanted to accomplish. But I don't miss them necessarily, because they made my life what it is now, and who I am. I would prefer to have a household with the... God damn it, can you stay still? Oh my god. I, pref I would prefer to have a household with the mind that I have right now than less experience myself. And I really like the way that I am right now. But the only way that I am right now, the way that I am right now, is having passed through a lot of trauma. <laughs> and that's shitty, I guess, but that works. Where are my arrows? Woo, I don't have arrows. Okay, that's a nice thing that I just noticed at this. I have to go back. Wow. My man, you're waiting right here. Let me collect these arrows so that I can go back safely to my house. I came for adventures with 320 arrows and I have now less than 10. Oh my god. Okay, let me look at the floor for arrows. So yeah, I would prefer much, much better to be in your situation than in mine. I love playing video games. I am really enjoying streaming here because I talk to different people and I know that I help different people. People that are struggling, people that need a voice or a, a, a year to hear them. But um, uh, I wouldn't mind. Still I don't know. Your weekend I'll talk to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that must be cool. Oh shit. Okay, I have to go back. Jesus fucking Christ. Fuck fuck fuck. But yeah, you only learn through pain. So, no 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 no. No 
only know, but you pain teaches. That's that's better phrased. So I have just go to the west, and I think I, I'll get there in no time. South, west, that's here. Yeah, 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 okay, here, let's go. Well, it's so good to be thirsty. I exercised a lot before I came here. I did a, a, a hard series of leg workouts, like very disciplined, very strong. Then I took the cat for a walk in my bag, my cat bag. <laughs> Cat is heavy, the kitten is, is, is heavy already, she's like 4 kilos and something, which is like 7 or 8 pounds. And after, I think it's 1.2 or 1.5 kilometer walk, and like coming back in, in like uphill, shower, it's, it's, it's 35 Fahrenheit here, I think it's 35 Fahrenheit, but I had a cold shower anyways. And now I'm like fully clothed, I'm warm. Thirsty as fuck. What is this? What's going on here? Brodir Grove. Brodir Grove. I need arrows. Oh god, it's horse and summons. What time is it? Oh, it's night. I'm not going to sleep now. Maybe I will. Maybe I appear in one of those places. Holy shit. Daedric Battle Wax of the Inferno. Yeah, that's going to be sold. And then I get to erase another stone. see anybody what the fuck more traps then there's the cooking spit what about that large trunk over there what the hell it's a large trunk Okay, really have to go to the southwest. Okay, I can see the city now. Solstein is not very large, but it's large enough to be very fun. Very fun. What, what am I saying? Much fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm at it. Good. I go to the guys' house. And then I'll go to sleep to see where I wake up anyways. <laughs> For the pendant. I am his hat. The idol. Oh my god, there they go.
So now in the strong box, I'm, I have to put away a bunch of these potions. I put away like 49. Not like I need that so much. Then I'm picking up 300 arrows. Okay, 272 is good enough. Then I needed to sell some shit. But everybody went away. What can I fucking do anyway? Yep, everybody went to their this may be the hypnosis. Way, but we've still got room. I work for Mogul. You got a problem? Mogul. The morn's open, people are buying drinks, and I'm. The blacksmith up at Skull Village seems to have gone missing, and they've asked us to keep an eye out. Hmm. Rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. How are you? I've got regular. I'll show you to your room. Okay, I'm going to be sleeping six hours. I'll probably be waking up there in one of the places that I need to <coughs> consecrate you know, anyways. Oh, no? Alrighty. So let's sleep for two more hours. Okay. Not bad. I can sell some shit. It's busier now that things... I'm beginning to like this partnership. Things... All I'm wondering is how long it'll t Just what you see here. Daedric Battle Works of Inferno. Poof! Go. Any supplies? Go talk to everybody first. I don't know who sent you. So you're and interested in my potions and ingredients? Reset people. Remember, I have plenty of potions. Looks at this helmet. I'm going to look at this helmet. I've always had a steady stream of work <laughs> thanks to the rhetoric <laughs> card. It is so it HCS as such. You've got a good thing going. The Hold finest on. weapons and armor. Ebony ingot, gimme. Gimme, gimme. Now. I'm so some shit to him. Bring your... Okay, let me see who that is. But I'm cheap. Yeah, there are gods among us. Damnation Christmas. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I was... I, I, I hadn't started farming the love enchantments. Because you have many skills, right? You have like 7 or 8, sometimes 10. Um, decent active skills. Or maybe even more. And then... The Labinchants are for active skills. Of course, there's like, what, 300? So the chances are minimal, even with three options. Even if you have the the Dark Shrine, it's still hard. But it's it's it, it's nice to try to, to form a Labinchant. So, let me see the rest. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's an Elder Helmet. Use it an essence of hysteria to craft. He spammed the essence until he got the double burning minion. I don't think he cares about the minion life. He just, he just cares about the burning damage. Wow. Burning damage. Oh my god. Yeah, that's not too hard to do, man. Have you tried doing it? Of course you need more arrows. You need more arrows. Because more arrows, you're going to have more level and more farm. 
and only with more form can you do this in H in in so so found with like essences being being uh, in your uh, passive skills right and apart from that you need the correct essence so I need I need an elder helmet looks oh, not here it's emulator Create new item, let's go for helmets, strength, let's go for ton of Borgonet, Elder, proceed. Did I get the essence here? I have to Alk first, then I go for an essence. Essence, I think it's Hysteria, let me see. No, this is low life. Horror? Yeah, a mental damage. So let's try. Six link helmets, yeah, let's try. First one. Five link only. It's only, it's always going to be five link because it's, it's horror. Okay, essence of horror has sucked the gems deal thirty percent elemental damage. But since it's elder, we have a chance. So let's go. Second attempt, no. Third attempt, no. Fourth, I have emolent. But emolent is just for hit builds, correct? No, no, it's not. I use Emulet. So I have a six link here. But the rest is shit. I could meta craft this, which will be very expensive, or keep spamming. And I think keep spamming is the option, the, the best course of action here. I have a six link, but I have to keep spamming. Let's go. Okay. Wow, we got a, a several divines helmets. <laughs> Look at these helmets. That was seven essences of horror. Let's go for a uh, hardcore trade. Oh my god! Ah, let's go for hardcore trade. No. Essences of horror was seven, right? Seven essences of horror. There is a guy selling for thirty-seven, but he's overselling because people are selling for thirteen. So I spent seven ninety-one chaos. Ninety-one chaos. Why? Because people are leveling, uh, people are um, specking into essences very frequently in the passive tree skills. And you don't even need to go for trade. You can be so self found, spec into the passive tree, full on essences, have a bunch of essences of R, and the seventh one, you have these helmets. Now let's, let's go for the crafting bench, right? Crafting bench, I can go for a prefix, right? I cannot go for maximum life because I already have. I would go for... No, wait a second, it's crafting bench. Crafting bench, crafting project. Yeah, I'm good for, I think, for armor. Armor Max Life. Oh no. I don't I forgot how to make the craft here. What? That's not ingredients. It's oh it's down here, isn't it? Oh it's here, it's here, it's here. I'm stupid. I cannot craft suffixes I can only craft prefixes and then I click here crafted yes. click crafted then I go for max life max armor here this right that's your six link with seven essences of horror 
All you have to do is find a, a elder decent base helmet with item level minimum 86. I think it's 86 for those. I'm not sure. So for that, you either buy hardcore trade or you have to buy from Kirak after you spam tier 16s or you have to spec into the passive tree to find more of those or use characters for other influence maps and then you juice the maps that you, that you have many rares that are going to drop many or you go for the other queue because going for the other queue kill many guardians the guardians are going to drop elder items there are many ways for you to acquire elder items but all of it has to be done when you are in 216s so that you actually get the uh, item of 83 or 4, 85, 86 depending on what the mods are but do you see how many I use? Oh, I thought I had used seven. It was one Arbor of Alchemy, one, two, three, four, five. Mm. Essence of Horror, even cheaper. Even cheaper, so that's very doable. It's also fun, man. Look at this. Oh, no. No, no, no. He has more. He has plus two to level. <laughs> so at the AOG gems. This is the seven link. This is a fucking seven link. So... It's a 7 link because it has the burning damage, more elemental damage, and so to the image. <laughs> it's insane. Oh my god. And it has the crafted uh, maximum life there. So, I could find that spamming more, but that's going to be hard. <laughs> Holy shit. I think you can do that with Harvest as well. And then I will have to research a little bit. But I think it's, it's the easiest way is to go for Harvest. And the, the enhanced one. You can you can have it here. Harvest crafting. It's um, add remove. And then you add remove fire. And then you try. No if no 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 it's not harvest. Harvest is no influence item. There is another way. Either he spammed the shit out of this item, because this is insane. And you can see that it's it's that Probably that option because he didn't get um, a life roll, natural life roll, or resistance roll. It's only the burning damage and plus two socket AoE, which makes it a seven link because you're already having the 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 thirty percent more from the essence of horror. Wow, he has eighty percent increased life regeneration rate. That's amazing for a righteous fight. <laughs> the guy's a god, and then he crafted the life, or uh. uh he just got lucky. That that's insane. That's that's so good. I think he just spammed. I could let let me try to spam a, a little more, because I might get there, but it's really hard. We need to have the plus two. We have minion life, fire damage to spells, concentrated effect. These are in the lab helmets mod well, only two. I oh, know, but that he either bought the base. Oh no, it's also fun. So no, he farmed. He farmed. That's insane. He farmed. He's a level 100, so he probably farmed that. Like, there's no other way. He could have used the, the Enchanted Fossil too. Because that's... A lot of people get Enchanted Fossil and they do that too. You know that, right? Before crafting the item, before crafting the item, you spam Enchanted Fossils on a, a pair of boots, uh, uh, fucking helmets, usually helmets for the right enchantment or some enchantment and then when when you have a good enchantment then you start crafting and then you can buy the enchanted fossils let's see the enchanted fossils how much they are i don't i Memorizing very little of them. What? I didn't even know they, they were enchanted forces. They are enchanted forces, but they changed the name? They weren't removed. I know they weren't removed. Wait a second. It's Deft Fossil now.
more critical not but what did they remove that oh so they removed it they removed it yes they removed it previously granted a labyrinth enchantment man you have to learn more about this game i know about an old mechanic that doesn't even exist because i use this mechanic a lot like you farm a lot of delve and then you can have a lab enchant but since it, it's going to be a chaos orb every time that you use you have to do this before actually crafting <laughs> it's pretty good we don't even have that anymore and then you didn't even know oh my god chop you're outdated as fuuck so yeah no enchanted force he actually farmed this <laughs> actually fucking farmed this yes but he's so powerful he's probably doing the the 84 80 86 lab 84 80 83 lab because there is one of these labs it costs one divine no way sell them so that um you have six enchantments in the fucking font six enchantments. <laughs> look at let me check this this scepter okay it starts wow all right whoa yeah if i had this i would have 1.5 or more damage can i copy this i don't even know no oh here copy copy let's let's try that thing in pub i promise people i'm, I'm playing skyrim it's just that i'm showing something to chop here <laughs> This is a Skyrim place. <laughs> it's just that I love theory crafting so much. So let me go back here for my elemental list that fucking died. And then I have Light Bane here, Veil Scepter, right? We have to ignore this, this DPS here. Fuck this. It's actually here. Ignite DPS, 997. And then, yeah, maybe we can have some DPS from the full curling, like 200k. Curling strike really helps for big bosses, but let's go for this here. 997 close to a million dps right then i go here create custom ba, 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 ba. what's the name corruption star add to builds corruption star now my damage is 1.350 <laughs> this is the equivalent to close to 3 million dps for hit builds having 1.354 1.354k damage that together with the current DPS, the current DPS is what now? 240. So it's, it's, it's basically 1.5 million DPS on Ignite, which is equivalent to 3 million DPS for healing builds. So, yep. Insane. But this, this thing here costs a lot to craft. And apparently, he either found this item or he made this item because he could have used this here let's restart let's go for a scepter here are you paying attention chop <laughs> it's kind of important so we use the scepter for righteous fire yes we use the scepter for righteous fire which is void scepter then we go here um learning yep you go for the alteration spam until you find the plus one to to all uh, level of all spell skill gems, right? Oh shit! It shouldn't be. Um, no, no, no. Undo. So let me use just one of those so that I can have this. I put this here. Oh shit! It's it's going to be yellow. Why? Yeah, like you want. I forgot how to. How do you actually put this here uh, without turning the item to to yellow? But at some point, you have to have this one here. Okay, plus one to to. It's not socketed medigens. What am I doing? Not even that. It's it's fire. Level of all spell skill gems. Yeah, this one here. Spell skill gems. All spell skill gems. Or all fire skill gems. Then uh, it has to be uh, rare. Then we use this shit here. Um, 
Oh yeah, cannot be used if item has less than four affixes. So what you do is that you find an insane item. You have to have an item, right? You have to have an item. But then you find an insane item. Imagine that the four uh, uh, modifiers here are desirable. And of course, if you find a very desirable item, you are going to use the item. You are, you are going to finish the item with a crafting recipe here. Okay, you craft the item with something and you are going to use. If, if it is already insane, four, you just craft something and use. But if you want to upgrade and you have four insane uh, uh, explicits here, and one or two of them are plus one to, uh, uh, to level of all, and the item level is good, and the base is good, right? So you go for the fracture. Poof. No, we didn't hit. Let's go another one. Poof. Didn't hit. Didn't hit. It's going to just be this one? No, come on. Uh, what? Is this a seed? Fracture a random modifier on a rare item with at least four modifiers, locking it in place. Why is it going on? Okay, uh, it was just bad luck. Okay, here. I fractured this. The problem is, and then you can scour. And now you have an insanely good item. Then you start from scratch here. Doesn't matter what you do. Doesn't matter what you do. The plus one will be there. So this is the first thing that you do. This is hard enough. <laughs> and you, you, use, you need to use exhaust and you need to use... Uh, um, a nose and you need to use the meta crafting for acquiring a very decent for uh, uh, affixed rare to even start to think about the fracturing orb here that is insanely powerful but very very expensive let's see the price of it the hardcore trade right now it's it's right here in the basic items here this beautiful baby here I think people are not even selling this shit. Oh, here. 10 divine. <laughs> One is 10 fucking divine. So, I keep going for the... Um, Harbinger passive, uh, uh, Atlas passive, because you find fractures. My whole playthrough with this character, before I died, I found 4 fractured. You need 20 to get one of those. So, the 4 fractured, I think I sold by... I don't know. Two divine, probably. Yes, yeah, exactly two divine. Yeah, it's insanely valuable if you don't know what to do with it. But if you know what to do with it, you make a mirror item basically. So let me see if I can find this in trade. Probably not. And then if you don't know, yeah, I can keep going and teach you how to make this scepter here from this but you can see that his base is this my base okay 40 percent elemental damage plus one all fire i just use it here plus one all spells which is even better but then from this you go do you see that is meta crafted here can have up to three crafted modifiers plus what you have to do here okay let, we can we can do this i i have to go and i alteration spam okay alteration spam i too i find something here that i really like Imagine that I, I, I really like this. And then I go for the Regal Orb. Where is the Regal Orb? And then I hit something. If I don't like, I scour and I start over. And you imagine that this is what I want. And then I Regal something that I really want. Okay, good. And then now you have to pay attention of prefix and suffixes because... You can only alteration spam. Do you see the prefix here? Let's let's restart. Hold on, sorry. You can, when you alteration spam, you already have a prefix here. Magic items can only have one prefix, one suffix. So you always find a suffix here. Okay, do you see every time that appears there, it's only suffixes, right? Only suffixes. So when you when you do the meta craft, this is a suffix. So you have to have a suffix that you want, then you hit a prefix. No, you hit a suffix. You have to hit a suffix that you want, right? 
so that when you use the third suffix you use for the metacraft can have up to, up to three crafted modifiers right so you have here prefix and then you want to hit two suffixes with the regal here this is cheap okay alteration regal this is cheap you spam it doesn't matter if you spend a thousand alterations and 300 regals you are going to do this because you're a top end player and then you hit two suffixes the third suffix is going to cost two divine and it's this one here okay one two three fourth line can have up to three crafted modifiers why because now you can have you can craft the two prefixes that normally is going to be fire damage to spells or fire damage right or if you reach something very desirable in the prefix which is normally not the case you go for it so what uh, what happens is that you can have the crafted prefixes here let's let's go another method that is using a little less luck a little more currency for making it um certain so you want certainty so you find the suffixes that you really want okay that's the exact surface that, that i want it's a tier one suffix and then you wriggle something decent but not necessarily crazy then you go for the the you go for the craft can have up to two to three crafted mods the meta craft right you craft the two prefixes that you really want and then let me see Mm, I have to remember now that the other the meta craft here. Where is it? Where is the fucking meta craft? Because there is one that you can only you don't modify. Oh, it's here! It's here! It's here! Crafted. No, it's suffixes. Here, one, two, three, four meta crafts. Okay, um, prefix cannot be changed. So what you do? Pay attention. You you found this item here. Then you alteration spam. You're going to go obtain a suffix that you want, and then you go for the 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 regal here, and then you regal. You really want to regal a prefix that you want, a prefix that you want. You really have to rig up perfect because the alteration is only going to give you a suffix because this here is already a prefix. So the regal has to be a prefix that you want. When you find the prefix that you want, you have two rooms for suffixes. Now you are going to spend crazy money because you're going to spend two divines for this here can have up to three crafted modifiers. You're going to have a second two divines for prefix cannot be changed then you craft naturally with the bench what you want after you do this so let's try here okay um can have three crafted modifiers and prefixes cannot be changed and then i craft some prefix here like gain lightning as extra kills okay and then you use a scouring orb boofed and then you maintain what you crafted, you maintain what you obtained with the Regal, and now you can craft again with the sixth divine, this here. Um, can have up to three crafted modifiers. And then you craft the two suffixes that you want. <laughs> so yeah, this is expensive, but that's the best way. No luck involved. Did you understand? <laughs> I can repeat, it's a little confusing. If you need, I repeat water by the way yes I'm going to repeat so let's let's poof reset the item when you alteration spawn you only can obtain suffix okay yes you understood or yes want me to repeat <laughs> because I'm going to repeat the whole explanation first fracture law first fracture law yes which is a bitch it's hard. We have to obtain an item with four things that you want. Um, because you can use the item for other things instead of just wasting. And one or two of the things have to be the plus one. 
Then wriggle for correct prefix. Yeah, you wriggle for the correct prefix. Like for example, imagine that I want this called Demetri Spells. Then I go for the suffixes. I meta craft this. Then I meta craft this. Then I craft the prefix that I want. Like imagine that is lighting damage. So this and this are going to be maintained. I use a normal scouring orb, so these two maintain. And then I go back and use my six divine for craft and uh, like two, three crafted modifiers. And then I can go there and have it done. So, what did he, what did he do here? Wait, what did he do? Suffix? What? Oh, I can only have one craft. I'm stupid. I fucked up so somewhere there. I did something wrong. Wait a second. No, 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 no. The first thing you do, it's, it's the opposite. The first thing you do is prefix cannot be changed. You have to do this once you obtain this. Then you erase the 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 thing and then you go for the, the, the real craft. Yeah, it's just you have to invert the last order. In three mod again, yeah. This card, yeah, you have to reverse the, 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 the order of the last thing that I did. That's it. Because what you do, I'm just going to correct some explanation here. What you do when you alteration spam is normally you don't want this suffix. You are going for the prefix. And then when you get the correct prefix and you don't want the suffix, you add this here. Uh, prefix cannot be changed. You scour to maintain the prefix. What the fuck? Prefix cannot... Oh, I only have two suffixes here. That's, that's why. Let's go for... Let's have a prefix. Okay, here. Adds 40 to code them. So prefix cannot be changed. And then I maintain the prefix that I obtained like with hard work. Then I come here with the kin have a to 3 crafted. And then I craft two more. Right? That is what he did. I just inverted the last order. Right? That's the only thing. That's insane money. And we normally... We morons of hardcore... Morons know. We low players of hardcore we don't learn this very fast very often because we don't get here because we die first we die before we do these end game items so the people on softcore they don't have fun as we do in hardcore trying to be alive their fun is crafting so that's why they learn very fast you you can see like different small streamers like myself if you see a small streamer of hardcore he's going to teach you some basic crafting how to get to end game and how to survive and tips on bosses and shit if you see a small streamer, a small YouTube channel of softcore, it's just upper duper endgame crafting. Because they don't die. They have to do something with their lives. <laughs> so that's why they learn. So just the last pass was inverted, okay? That's it. Let me go back to Skyrim because this is the rabbit hole of crafting on Path of Exile. So yeah, that's his scepter. And that's his sh this helmet. It's not even the helmet is very easy. You just have to spam the horror there. The scepter is a bitch. You really have to spend a lot of currency. In my example here, I spent 16 divine and who knows how many alterations and wriggles. So 16 divine, 10 for the fracturing orb. I mean, not even. <laughs> no, it's more. <laughs> it's probably a mirror. This this <laughs> this scepter of his is probably a mirror because I'm assuming I'm going to get the correct fracture in one fracturing orb. It's not even. Nope. It's, it's more than one probably. So that is an insane item that he has there. So yeah, no. <laughs> it's, it's expensive. But it's good. So let's go back. Now I have the... The Ebony... Ingots. For the guy here. And then I have to get these fucking spears for the lady there too. Oh, I have to have Juniper Berries. And tap roots, don't I? Tap roots. Let me see if this alchemist here has has some tap roots. 
I'm probably going to resent her Looking for that. For any... Ah, so you're an alchemist then? No. Remember. Let's reset her and tier find three type boots. Or not. I have plenty of drink water. If you're looking for any so you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Remember. So remember. The method of using six divines is for more surety and so you're interested um, in my potions and ingredients how can i say less time spent if you really want to go for a little less currency and more time spent you go for the thousand times alteration to get the perfect suffix then you get the perfect prefix and then you can only like, go you can if you're you looking don't for any need to go look. for two Meta crafts, you just go for the one that is the can have up to two crafted, three crafted modifiers, and then you craft two more, and that's it. But that's like you need so much RNG for that. It's much Remember? better to just try a nice regal and then go back. Nice regal, then go back. Nice regal, then go back. And then that's it. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? She's not going to send me top roots. Just want top roots. No. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? I think I'm going to rift them. Just need three top roots. I don't want to go to rift them, dude. Ah, so you're an alchemist then? One. Now I save. And, right. and I keep the shenanigans until I get the two more, two other ones. My husband, take a look. No. Remember. Take a look. Man, something in my eye now. The fuck? Ah, and the air is very so dry here too. Then. There's a cat in the little box. Ah, so you're an alchemist then. I need to then. check in a second. Just have to Re give the cat a little bit of time. <laughs> You know what? Oh no, I have to load the game for that, yeah. I have to get the G Juniper Berries. So I think I'm going to rift them, yeah. It's faster. J let me just see. Tap root. I need two tap roots. I already have this. I need Juniper Berries. I don't know how many, I'm going to get like five. Yeah, juniper berries and top roots. Let's go. What do you want? Can't say I'd mind. Load up, and we'll get underway. Oh my god, wrong shout. <laughs> Shit. So you're probably having rift him. But we'll see. I welcome you. Take a look.
me your own. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. Nice weather for a ride. Hope it lasts. <laughs> I'm sorry. See if I have juniper berries. Okay. And tap root. Oh wow, I just have one? Really? <laughs> God. I got some salt here too. Not a problem. I'm going to try to find what time is it? Uh, I sleep. sleep for 12 hours. No, 12 hours. Vanquish the great evil of Skyrim. You have saved us. Do you have any? Ah, oh, so you're an alchemist then? Man, top roots. Just give me a top root, man. Oh my God, why? Yes, yes. No. Take a look at take a look. Let's listen with some of the potions to me. Light feet. Healer. Haggling. Healing. And this. Yes. Make it quick. Take a look. Need something? Ah. Oh. So you're an alchemist then. <laughs> and one top root, one. Make it quick. Ah, oh, so you're an alchemist then. <laughs> okay, thank you, Jesus. Take you to any of the where do you want to go? 
Climb and back, and we'll be off. You'll find Windhelms full of dark elves. The kind from Morrowind, you know. Not that I have anything against them. Not because they keep to themselves. It's <laughs> normal racism. Oh my god, I'm stupid. Come on. It's five seconds. Speed. We sail as soon as I'm paid. Load up, and we'll get underway. <laughs> it's gonna reach on me. The fifth. Talk to Captain Yarland. I don't know what you did in those mines. What time is it? Time for this way. Here, let's sleep and be fucking teleported. Oh, um, um, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The mines, sure thing. It's yours. I'll show you. I don't even know if I finish it selling everything. I don't think so. Drink water. I didn't get teleported, that's better. What in the name of the black hat is that? Nice. Next time you feel like having a conversation, talk to someone else. It's 4 a.m. Jesus. Oh my god, let me wait a little bit more. He draws near. Oh my god, there's this. I am his hand. It's three hours. <clears throat> it's good that you are so tired that you just decide to sleep and the you press a button. The <laughs> I wish I was like this in real life. Just press a button, you're going to sleep. Now where is the general? Door guy. I have some shit, so come on. Okay, they're returning. You've been a good friend to me. That means something. You got a good thing going here now that you've reopened the mines. Don't let it go okay, to there waste. It comes. All right, time for me to go to sleep early day tomorrow. That's a very early day tomorrow, man. Nice rest. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll probably be here. Thanks for the tutorial. Yeah. Sorry for the confusion in the last moment. But yeah, you know, you can either go for the RNG or for the certainty. But that's that's on you. And I'll, I'll be seeing you when you wake up, probably. I'll be streaming a lot today. <laughs> it's only two hours. It's busier now that things are starting to look up. I guess I might stay a bit longer after all. Yeah, so. Time is what it. What can I get you? 
got everything from potions to pitchforks. If you're looking to buy, okay, just thanks. what you see here. I need to put away these statues. Forgot about that. There's more shit to sell. Hold on. If you need any supplies, you know where to find. Them. Need something? Just what you see here. If you need okay, let me put away some shit. The Debella statue is here. I think here is adequate. Can I like balance them? Oh, come on, I looted. Dude, how can I make this work? I wish I could just balance this correctly. Balance. Oh, okay, okay. Alrighty, almost there. Oh, now it's full of... <laughs> oh. Okay, the first one worked. Let's try this one here. Let me try now the place because oh shit. On the floor, on the fucking floor. Let me try the floor. Woo, I could do it, finally. I have one here and then one here. Nice. Okay, my weight is decent. I see a lot of ingredients. And I forgot to put away those. But it's 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 fine. I don't know who said that. If I destroy this. I haven't cleansed the earth stone. It's right here. It's stupid. And by the way, this is the abandoned house, isn't it? Um, I 
Is it this one here? Oh, abandoned building. Can I make this my house, people? There's meat here everywhere. <laughs> Confessions of a damaged school leader. Going to be stolen from home. People are sleeping here. Oh, shit, stolen bread. The five four stars. Who is here for these items to be stolen? This makes no sense. Alright. I want this house. Is it? It's 10 a.m. Oh, now the guards are working. <laughs> what the fuck? Let's save the game. At least the guards are here. Of course my house is going to be on the way. That's two? Why is there two? There's a second one there. Let's finish him off. Great. Bones of Earth. Bones of the Earth. Caster ignores 80% of all physical damage for 30 seconds. Single use, then must be reacquired at the Earth Stone. Wow, holy shit. That's another of the powerful ones. Okay. At least the workers are not going to be coming here anymore. <gasps> now I have to come here. Yeah, the mark is already there. I have many things to do there. And there's this. Help me now. I'll go later there. I'll go later. The mines are open and the shop is busy. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, four, five, six, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Wow, the stamina of this horse. <laughs> really bad. Really short span. <gasps> Is that an end? What the fuck? Did you explode? What, what was that? Is it grasshopper? No, that's one of those weird dogs. The stream there is diked. So I can help the, the forge of the guy. What's going on? You're after all. I definitely missed the forge. I brought but the materials you wanted. Just in time too. Kuvar was starting to give me some grief about his new armor. This will do the trick nicely. You come back if you ever want some fancier armor yourself now. Nice. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Mm, I have one arrow now. Good. Has boon mold armor. Cheating. Daedric. Have good shit. Redoran. Watchman's helmet. Very cool. Very different. Storing light boots. Ooh. Can't have the other road. Uh, the ingots there. All right. Now, for the alchemist here, and then I have to collect the spear for the woman. There's a lot of work to do. Steve. Juniper berries. Oh, perfect! Just the right ripeness. The to the mead good master work, friend. Nice. Farewell. And then this motherfucker is to to east. And this one needs a lot of spears from the Ricklings. Where to now? Oh yeah, the blacksmith's missing there. Let me go to the Skull Village. I heard it as a rumor from the, the inn owner. Let's check if that rumor is true. What's that? Skull villager. Is that the blacksmith? <laughs> what? Skull's Jono. Kira tells Sho to wait, so he wait. But then he meet nice men from village who show him magic eyes. He call it story. Sho likes story. <laughs> so this aura is story. He like way it look. He like way it sound. H is silence, just like Sho. Uh, is Sho, Sho, <laughs> because Sho have no tone. But show axe is loud. Shows his axe is loud. Shows axe is loud. I make good crunch noisy nice. But 
storing showing storing <laughs> make different noise most eyes go re but magic eyes go mm. show should be barred nice men say there is their island north of Kasokar. Kasokarst. he said their island all way north with much magic ice the kind show can win show think man very nice he's sorry he have to crush him what really ancient eyes search the island for story the northern island yeah what the fuck and then this is called villager oh my god so he killed the blacksmith didn't he that's what there was a good reason baldor i am the leader of the skull did i overhear that someone is missing oh i doubt it dior has always been quick to worry go and speak to him if you like but do not be surprised if you end up in a wild fox chase it would not be the first time <laughs> so, the ash from the red mountain has made the land sick want a head full of gray hairs before you've seen 40 i am in no mood to talk outsider one of the skull has gone missing. Yeah, he's dead right there. Who's missing? <laughs> it is Baldor Iron Shaper. As our only smith, Baldor is very important to the village. The innkeeper was correct. Um, did anything unusual happen around the time of his appearance? Hmm. I, I do not job. remember Why am Baldor I saying acting this? strangely. Although now that you ask, I did see something in the woods on the day he disappeared. I saw... Two elves in the far distance dragging something behind them. Hunters often visit our land, so I thought little of it. Where were they headed? Uh, south and west. If your road takes you that way, perhaps you could search for any sign of Baldor. The skull would be grateful. It is the will of the Allmaker that, as the beasts. What? Um, what? So it's it's not related? Are you serious? Oh, it's not. It's a villager. Okay, I thought it was related. What the fuck? It's been many winters since my husband returned to the old maker. Who do you trade with? Many hunters never talk to this lady. Village, and sometimes the dark elves of Raven Rock visit us. They bring us things from their homeland that we can't find on the island, such as spices, fine cloth, and ores that we cannot mine here. It's true we Skull prefer a simpler life than some, but we do still enjoy a luxury from time to time. Who's your son? His name is Nicholas. He's a good lad, strong and loyal. I only wish he wasn't so eager to leave the village. I've tried to tell him that the world beyond our lands is dangerous and cruel, but he won't listen. I could talk to him. You would do that? I know he would listen to you. You've been out there in the wide world. You know its perils. I'm yes, probably influencing people perhaps you travel. can convince him. I would be grateful if you would do this thing, outsider. <sighs> I'll go for sale. Take a look. as a basket <laughs> oh yeah I found some shit oh she barely has any money oh I never sold those things what what the fuck okay I hope that I am called Wolf Wildblood. I am first hunter of the Skull. How long have you been first hunter? In days past. My brother Torkild and I would share the hunt. But that was long ago. What happened to your brother? I wish I could tell you. 
He had a wild gleam in his eye. More so than most. In my darkest times, I fear he fell in among the werebears of the glacier. What's a werebear? Twisted beasts. A curse of here seen. True bears are noble and great creatures of the wild. But the Daedra have no skill for creation. So they befile the Allmaker's workings. I've heard tell of men who, by curse or by heart's desire, become transformed into one of those vile things. It is a pitiable fate, and one that I fear has fallen to my brother. Do you have any idea where he might have gone? He set off from here so long ago. Feel your bones. It's hard to say. Could be in Hammerfell it's for all I know. Here. If you happen to cross his path, be wary. He was a fierce warrior as a man. If he fell prey to his more bestial side, he could be deadly. What do you think your brother... Why do you think your brother became a werebear? He never felt the call of the Allmaker, as I do. As we all should. We seek to live in peace with the land. But he had an eye for dominance and strength. For unnatural strength, you'd need look no further than the beasts of this island, mangled by the Daedra. It's not a fate I would wish on anyone, and not what I wanted for my brother. What wisdom can you share about hunting? The first piece of wisdom I teach to any hunter of the Skull is to ask the simple question. Should I truly kill this beast? We take only what we need. And so we preserve the oneness with the land. What is oneness with the land? The Skull hunt not for sport, but to survive. We believe that all creatures have a right to live as they will. And when we take what we need from them, we thank the beast for its gifts. The less we disturb the land and the beasts within it, the more we respect the wishes of the Allmaker. Kinds of game do you hunt? Deer, bear, and horker provide most of what we need for skins and meat. Sometimes, when the wolves grow too bold and threaten the village, we must hunt them to cull their numbers. What else does the first hunter do? When we stalk large game, I lead our hunters in tracking the beast. It is also a way of saying that I am the most skilled hunter in the village. I doubt that an outsider could truly understand, but I hope my words have helped to answer your question. Okay. Until next time. If Nicholas leaves me now, I will be truly... I can get shit now. Can I cook? I hope you will give me word. The dragons of old have returned. By the Allmaker, I hope they will leave. The ash from the Red Mountain. Yeah, they have a lot of clothes. Because it's very cold. Every winter. The ash. I hope that Nicholas will hear. For many so years now, I have attended to We storm. must look to Learning the all maker for guide. Oh, and that's the, the, the student. I came here to study the history of Sol. So I also wanna check this island. Just out of curiosity. Oh, there is there is ruins there. So you know what? Not now. I should go here. Because I stop at that quest to grab some arrows. And I need to go to the bathroom. I'll be back very fast. Put some jazz, some more paper, and I swear it's not going to be so long.
Freezing. Fucking freezing. God damn it, how it can be so cold, oh my god. Let's go to the south. The stamina of this poor horse. <sighs> Jones retreat. Everyone dead. Everyone but me. Everyone dead. Everyone but me. They attacked us. Those bastards at Frossel stole our treasure. Wait, forget I said that. That's my treasure. You can't have it. You picked a bet. What? I thought about helping a motherfucker, and then now he decided to suicide. What the fuck? This. When the death brand is closer, it's like here. Let's put the mark here. Right out. The other part of the death brand to have like four parts. This is the second one I think. I try to explore down here. Okay, nothing special. What the fuck? What the hell? So he entered already, I think. Or not? Where's the mage, dude? Travel to next shop with. Oh my god, I think I have to. 
I have to, I think I have to fetch him back. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Yep, that's that's the dead. I guess. I think it's going to be faster here. I hope it's going to be faster here. Because it doesn't swing very slowly. Spawning more later. This fucking soul. Then what do we have here? Sarcophagus. Oh, staff of corn. Four sarcophagus says, says sarcophagus says, <laughs> and some stuff. Creatures and people up to level eight won't fight for thirty seconds. Really? So I'm gonna go for the death. Something I probably bugged. That quest. Probably have to use the console. But I'm going to assume not. That's why I'm going. I'm coming here. Coming here. There's battle there. Oh, found it. Two treasure hunters dead. Left brand boots. Cool. Okay, as I suspected. What's this? Oh yeah, those are the small ones, right? And only ash and dust here in this area. Can solve time. Basalt formations.
Please, game. Tell me he's here. <laughs> Don't make me use the console, oh my god. Oh, that's not even... not here. Oh, Why is that the scent? <sighs> we just have to use the the console, probably. You right? gotta help me. I conjured an Ash Guardian, and now it's running amok. Kind of sorry for you. Hurry! All the arrows. Where is the debris? Okay, it, it vanished. Whatever. He here? Is it done? Is the Ash Guardian gone? The Sir Ash Guardian. What a relief. Master Neloth surely would have punished me had he found out. I can't pay you, but I could teach you the Ash Guardian spell. Although maybe that doesn't sound like a good idea to you after this. <laughs> I do have a staff I could give you instead, if you think the Ash Guardian spell is too risky. Ash Guardian spell. All right. But remember, don't cast this without a heart stone. Otherwise, the Guardian will attack everyone, including you. Cool. Got it. Don't cast Ash Guardian without a heart stone. That's right. Don't be like me and have to learn the hard way. <laughs> Here's the spell tome and a heart stone so you can try it safely. <laughs> nice. What went wrong with the Ash Guardian spell? No, oh, it turns out that the spell requires a heart stone to cast properly. I didn't have one with me when I cast it. If you cast the spell without a heart stone, it attacks anything in sight. All right. So, take a look. Where's much enough? He's off doing research in Raven Rock, I think. He told me all about it, but I can't seem to recall the details right now. Oh, he's a follower. I suppose Master Neloth won't mind. He's always telling me to get out of his way. Still here. Yes. Oh, it trains in conjuration. Cool. Neloth, oh, but not now. Your payment. What ways? You go on ahead. We heading out? I'd best get back to Master Neloth then. No telling what's happened since I've been gone. Now let's Google that. Q 
crushed house near the abandoned prison near Windhelm. How the fuck? <laughs> what? Okay. Up voted. Okay, I'll go for the... Ow! Oh, okay, I thought I had falling. I'll go for the console one. God damn it. Oh, so these guys appear in the water now? Nice. They give a lot of loot, but I don't care. Yeah, let's go for the console. God damn it. We saved the game. Preed 04177DA. That you'd have more or less highlighted his RFID in the console. From there, type move to player in the console. Move our space. Okay, then I load the game. What the fuck? You know what? I'm going for the wiki. Man, it's very common. This is very common. If the Dragonborn leaves the location before Neloth opens the door, Neloth may have disappeared when the Dragonborn returns from Shrak. It's likely Neloth has entered yet the door remains locked. Since I triggered this bug, I waited 72 hours at the door. My PC can choose its command. What do you think? Um,
I'm just typing a lot here. Let me go to the wiki. Oh my god. What? Doesn't show this bug? Are you serious? Okay, let me see if I can see like a quest. The path of knowledge. Let's go back again. So, okay. Let me see his, his... Okay, that's the correct one, right? Can I just do this and move to player? XX 0401778 Yeah, I'm loading the game. Let me try here. Move to player 0401778 is that how you do it? I don't even know. Just want to fix this, Jesus Christ. Oh, it's just move to player. Okay. Oh my god, thank Here you. Here we are, the Chardak. The book we're after is right inside that dome. Can we can we go? Please. This place was deserted when I was here last. Are we done? I thought so. He's here, but then what? Are you going? Hmm? Shall we get on with it? Um Hmm? Are we done? I thought so. The ash from there is the big house Telvani has its properties on Bardenfell. I've never been to the mainland myself. That's that then. Oh my god, let's try another one. Oh, I just want to play the game. Really? <laughs> I have to 
push him away? You are shitting me. <laughs> you have to be kidding me. It's good to have everyone not running off to that damn city. Go, man, center. just open the door. I suppose I have you to thank for that. No, yeah, sure. How do we get on with it? Yeah, we, we should. <laughs> Let's go. Can you hear? Ray. <laughs> He's still. Dude! Are you kidding me? I wonder if a dragon could be captured alive. It would make a Let fascinating test subject. Hmm. Oh God! <laughs> there you go. Come on, man! You can't open this door. Just scare me to the shit. <laughs> oh my God! That nothing is. It. Oh my God! <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh god. So people are saying <laughs> that you use the unrelenting force in here, but I, I'm trying, it's not working. But at least the, the these the peoples here, uh, the peoples Nelos, they, like were away from the door, and now he doesn't. It's my turn. No? D dude. S so th he did an animation? And I still can't enter. Oh my god! That love doesn't enter the door. Now doesn't open the door. <laughs> my god! It's <laughs> What do I do? Is there somebody I can start a quest with? Hey, I got past it by doing the quest with myself. I just set up another question. Put myself a single treasure. Couldn't get in the rest by myself. Too bad I didn't get to hear. No, no, I heard it before I played. Oh my god. Let me try the path of knowledge to see if, if there's a bug report there. I was introduced to the music. Like, maybe Victoria appears to cause another to come out lying the cross function. Okay, let's let's wait for 24 hours, which is not great at all. Oh my god. After the bands are killed, we locked the door, making it impossible to get in. We turn into a poker shot and not turn on my head. All the time I'll be sure he's doing his movements. Finish the quest, the keep is taking me final, finish his end dialogue, and I have to try to lead him the way back to the entrance. Oh my god, this quest is super glitched. Let's load again. And I'll wait, I think, 24 hours. Let me wait one. I'll wait the fucking 23 hours early. Oh shit.
really. I'm going to try I'm going to try to put the quest back in, in another stage, I think. Holy shit. The comments, the comments. Quest. I need the quest stage. Show the current active quest stage. Get stage quest ID. Okay, 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 good. And what's the quest ID? DLC 2MQ04. DLC 2MQ04. Under 20? What? So this guy had, what was that? Advance the quest with the console. Can I find this? So many bugs. Let me try, like, set stage a hundred. Okay, let me load the game again. Let me learn about quest stages. I just wanted to play the game. Oh my god. Yeah, maybe this.
player.sqs Oh my god, what a mess. The quest ID again. Oh god. No. DLC 2MQ04. So I cannot. What? Okay, so it's set stage 110, I think. Set stage DLC 2MU04 110. Did it work? No. No, let's try 70. God damn it, man. What? I think I'll go... Oh, I didn't complete 0 and 1? That probably is it. Oh my god. Okay, let me keep looking. just oh my god I just wanted this to work I'll load again to the safe thing you know what maybe I have to load back here again enter then I go back to 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 the town I'm going to lose what one hour is that the name of the quest? Let me see. DLC 2M. DLC 2M Q04. DLC 2M Q04. Okay, I'll try a load again. I don't want a broken game. I'll try to go into Raven Rock, like some people are suggesting. Oh my god. Or I'll try to move player. Maybe that works. Player move to, right? Let me try that one. Player dot move to space zero four zero one seven seventy A. Here we are. You see the exit? It's right here. 
let me see if I can get out and enter. No, we'll have to do this the hard way. If we can restore the steam supply to this room, I'm certain I can open it. As you'll see, that's easier said than done. This way, to the boy. Let me see just what is the correct load, like... No. Two one six seven. Let me just take a note here. Maybe I have to, to load this if the game breaks somehow. I hope that the game doesn't break. Oh shit! No, 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 no! Don't. Just fix this here. Oh my god, what a mess! Man. And I'm saving this shit, obviously. There's an, an auto save. This is the first room. Oh, I'm all new. Let's fucking go. And I waited for 24 hours? Wait a second. Let's not do that. Let me save. <laughs> I don't want <laughs> to have waited for 24 hours. Let me just go. F with this like good like I'm not going to be wait 24 hours for that now what is this button button doesn't work here we are the chardak the book we're after is right inside that dome shall we get on with it okay Please. Um. Me get out and enter. I think I have to click on the door no, to trigger to things. If we can restore the steam supply to this room, I'm certain I can open it. Let me help some people here, because I think that might be useful. I should post in one of these places. Um, let me answer here. He's, he's already in the common moves to player zero four zero one seven seven BA um follow it by enter by exiting and entering anger for for me. Okay, at least I can help some soul. <laughs> There's that last night was. Good. We have to have we have to leave legacies. As you'll see, <laughs> that's easier said than done. This way to the boilers. The quest might break again, might keep breaking, because I've seen so many problems with this quest. But, I mean, it's fine, right now it's good. Well, let me see something here. You have two weights. To the right, stops. Okay, there's some water. I can go back, but now I want to look around. There's a chest, always oh, expert.
What? There's nothing here. I mean, it's this luck peak increased. <laughs> but that's that's what we have. Luck peak increased, and that's all. I'm not a German ruins. City of a hundred towns. In its day, it was the largest of the great archives, and perhaps the most advanced. In the old days, when the Nords came to conquer, it said that Dwemer submerged the entire city beneath the sea until the invaders gave up. I have my doubts, but the city was a marvel of Dwemer engineering. Now reduced to this. As you can see, most of the lower levels of the city are flooded. But it isn't hopeless. The old Dwemer pumps still seem to work. Watch. <laughs> but the pumps only operate when a cube is in the pedestal. Unfortunately, I only have one cube. These four boilers provide steam to the room upstairs. They're shut down, but they still respond to the control cube. If we can find four more cubes, we can turn these points back on and restore the power to the room upstairs. Four more cubes? Then I should be able to open the book's protective case. Bring that cube. We'll need it. Shows the location of four more cubes in this section of the city. It looks like most of the cubes were moved to the lower levels, perhaps to try to control the flooding before the city was abandoned. Interesting. That would suggest that the city must have originally sunk during the first cataclysm of Red Mountain. That the Dwemer's servitors continue to try to preserve the city after their creator's disappearance. Three of the cubes are through here. This seems like a sensible place to start. You should be able to unseal this door with the control cube I gave you. I'll wait for him to speak every single line. I'm following him despite my desire to explore. Oh god. The rest of the cubes are this easy to find. Although knowing the Dwemer, I'd rather doubt it. Oh, we have our combo tomorrow. Okay, at least he's fighting. It's probably an essential NPC. With these arrows. Bring my cloak, but same he has a very killable face. <laughs> How are you doing for me this? Dude, I just struggled. Are you there? Have you been there for the last like 20 minutes? I've been struggling to enter here because of a simple glitch. These must be the great workshops of Nachalka. In the city's days of glory, it was reputed to be able to assemble a complete automaton in a single day. Much of the Dwemer's army at the Battle of Red Mountain must have come from here. I've been here for quite a while trying to focus on doing Shipper Guardians. Oh, nice! <laughs> But 48 set for Looks 16 like divine yesterday, so basically just grinding through them. <laughs> Very cool. Any more progress. Okay, I think I have to kill this guy. Or not. I believe these pillars will activate the pumps for this room. Now we can see if we can find a way to get that next cube. 
kinda hungry. I think we should focus on how to get up to the door on the north side of the workshop. Oh, it marked the cube. I was talking one hour ago with Chop about builds because he's going righteous fire and so on and so forth and then I taught him how to craft the, the, the scepter that he saw for for ignite builds I don't know if you were here back then you have the crafting, yep and then I confused his part <laughs> but yeah that's amazing and the, the helmet, that helmet is very simple I think that one I basically figured out but the other one I had to watch a tutorial like two years ago it was kind of <laughs> like okay what happened here I just scoured the thing oh no it's it's the opposite you either go for the RNG or for the certainty the real bitch thing is the fracturing orb I asked it the other day before I quit before I quit um, crucible I asked a, a juggernaut that came to buy two of my fracturing things and he said oh man people are using these mostly to get these here and then he showed me this X base with the good damage nodes there the one that is flat and I'm like oh okay and he's like oh this here is like many many divines in the trade but you basically can't find them so you have to make them <laughs> so it's really hard yeah for crucible tree crafting there's there yeah People are making crazy items. I guess some people had fun with Crucible. And I guess I'm glad that I didn't have fun with Crucible because I'm here finishing Skyrim before Starfield comes. <laughs> That's an imprint beast. That the process is horrible. How many do people use? Because since you have to have four, you have 25% chance per try. But you can get to a statistical number but statistically you can get to a thousand for example i was demonstrating here in craft exile i think the first four that i attempt went to the same and i was like am i doing something wrong and i read again the item no it was just the first four that went to the same one uh process order i don't know i gave up after 12 imprint beasts oh so you go for imprint beasts the imprint beasts no wait a second Maybe you're telling me about something that I don't know about. But I'm talking about fracturing a mod that you want. For fracturing a mod that you want, you need that fucking expensive orb. And if you fracture it wrongly, you have to use the imprint beast to get the item back to what you had, right? But then you have to spend another fracturing orb. Literally couldn't get four desired nodes for love of gods. Like the imprint beast lets you keep the three nodes in the merge phase. Okay, that's the crucible shenanigans. Yes. Okay, yes. So the fracture mod is one thing. Then people are, are using the imprint beast to try to merge two trees. And then you try it 12 times. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god, dude. Okay, no, I was talking about one thing, you were talking about the other thing, yeah. So, you're also using Print Beasts for the fracturing of the... Yeah, uh, yeah, use both for merging the trees and the fracturing. Yeah, god, same pro yeah. God damn it. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking about farming these beasts, but be I, I died for the... Um, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh, shit. Let me wash my face. I died for Poor Joy's Asylum. If I hadn't died, I was going to be farming uh, the Maven. I have I had three shards. I will go I was going to try Maven. And I think I was going to be able to, to kill her. Yeah, I could fail and die in a stupid way. But I had a card to, for, for killing her. I had l like 997k, so basically one million DPS. That's that's enough. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Yep. Maybe it's not really DPS, it's more about knowing the fight. Yeah, I know the fight back to back. And I have decent DPS. Not great DPS, but decent DPS. And the golems that I insist on having, they are automatic, like, uh, rate decoy totems. So this helps a lot for the bosses that she's going to summon or something. Unless she, she fucking summons somebody that explodes corpses, in which case it's like... <laughs> luck? <laughs> But yeah, and you shouldn't get that shit touch you and, and not let you regen for 10 seconds, right? That's shitty. I saw this shenanigans. I saw the shenanigans. But I didn't get very, very interesting because I know they're going to remove this entirely from the game, number one. And or do something about exploding corpse mechanics. Because they either so so detonate dead our spells that use corpses they when they gave us these spells it was similar to when they gave us harvest they don't know what to do about them because harvest they already dealt with right it's dealt with it's, it's a fraction of what it was, but it's still very fucking good. But then the, the spells that, det that use corpses, not like we have cremation, we have detonate dead, we have um, the other one that I forgot. These spells are also used against us. So they will never remove this from the game because those are the things that kill the Zizerans, right? The steel mages. <laughs> and that, that's what killed me. My character was like very tanky. It was not tanky like to take slams, but it was very fucking tanky. No, no wonder it was 95, I was so thrilled. I'm, oh, okay, I'm going to get to 97, finally 98, and then I died for a fucking corpse explosion in, in, in uh, Port Joy's Asylum that probably was so deadly. It would be deadly anyways to 16, but it was probably so deadly because they have more max life there. So yeah, it's, it's crazy bad. And I think they don't know what to do about it. And then... I got one crucible tree very early in, in my mapping and I read this. I was like, really? Oh my god, this is going to get, get us some shenanigans builds. That's for sure. And then because I don't really like the mechanics, I didn't go for the theory crafting or mathematics. Two days, two days after, I see the first... No, one day after, the first one that I saw was Zizera. Zizera I'm talking about it. They was Lily in my YouTube feed, and then like everybody's using now. And I, I'm like, okay, what the fuck? <laughs> now they are deleting bosses. Like, you press a button, then delete. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like, DPS would help, but not necessarily. Did you see the explosion in Tolis? Yeah, the playstyle is bad. Yeah, the Primeval Remnant is such a bad mechanic. Man. <laughs> so, also. You, you, you mentioned the Prime Remnants. I don't remember the name of the Harvest uh, Minions, but they removed us. They, they removed the, the these Harvest Minions and some... Cor cortex? Not Cortex. Uh, memory Minions from being your pool because you will just bring them and just delete bosses anyways because they have this crazy life pool. So they have been nerfing little by little the corpse explosions. And what I don't like is that they don't actually do something about on us. So you either block or you don't block with spell block. And if you have spell suppression, sometimes you're going to die anyways. So it's it's, it's oh god, I wish they they at least separated in, in some way the hardcore leagues from the, the, the softcore leagues just for me to feel a little better about dying. Oh, at least I'm playing hardcore and I have this that every, everybody else does. <laughs> uh, but yeah, still trying to get a crazy Emperor of Vigilance for Spectre Shield throw. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about. I really want to try Spectre Shield throw one day. I really want to try, but I'm busy doing other shit. Let me, let me Google this. What's, what is... Emperor Vigilance. Is it the new item? No, this item is it has had already been, right? 
up. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it was reworked, I think. Oh, they were league specific, added to the core drop, drop pool. Kind of block while you have no energy shield. Damage from blocked hits kind of bypass energy shield. Damage from unblocked hits always bypasses energy shield. Glancing blows, glancing blows and hmm, chance to block spell damage decent. Lots of armor. No, not no 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 no. Armor and energy shield. Maximum life. Why? Yeah, but the skating on it is crazy. Look at the mods. Cause crucible tree give flat ES and armor. Oh okay, 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 okay. So the thing is that you can have it and then you merge trees so that you can have a crazy crucible tree in it. So yeah, you can get like a thousand five ES on the shield. Yep, then you chance to get into unique, yeah. The glancing blows. That's interesting because the glancing blows it it, it goes fully on the energy shield. That's pretty decent. But is this what a Templar? A uh, Spectre Shield? Or do you go champion as I, I've seen people do? Shield Crucian Spectre Shield Throw do not gain added physical damage based on armor evasion on shield. Crucian Spectre Shield Throw gains 35 added lightning damage per Oh shit. <laughs> okay, now I see. It's it's probably Templar, right? So you add a little more energy shield and mana from energy shield? Uh, and it should from mana? Like I said, I never tried to theory craft it. I really want to play um Spectral Shield Throw and, and and the one that is the the Blessed Hammer from Diablo. What's the name of this one? I forgot uh, the, the name. Oh I I look at some streamers playing that I was like ah I have to play this, this looks so sick. I have to play these two builds. But I'm really happy with my fire mage. Like I really like <laughs> the, the playstyle. Plus the synergy with seeding fury and phantasmal spectral shield throw. Phantasmal? What does it do? And what's the other one? Um, seeding fury. Is it a passive from a closer jewel? Um, a timeless? Oh no. Oh! What do you go for here? For this crit build? That's not the one? Which one is the one? So that's not the one. It's the wiki from from PG, right? Okay. So it gives you what? 11? Now sitting fury. Alrighty. <laughs> okay. Okay. Don't need to be a genius. <laughs> So it's crit chance and crit multiplier. It goes for 40. 400? 
Four hun wow dude Holy shit Yep yeah, that's a crazy creep build Then you could go Templar and then and then Shaper's gloves for accuracy or don't you don't want Templar at all? See not a craziness yet, plus you're using ashes for the quality with Phantasmal. So you get 20 and then what 38? Let me see how many how much it goes. Ashes of the star VT. Yeah, let's put like 25 so it go. <laughs> wow, okay. It goes like 45. Wow, dude. Wow. All you have to do is crit. And then critical strikes ignore. If you go Templar, ignore the enemy resistance. And then Shaper's Gloves for accuracy. I'm thinking about the Templar here. Because Templar is shitty to go for accuracy. Or you go champion and then you just taunt them. And. But how do you scale lightning damage? I'm going to do the one with it. But do you go Templar, Inquisitor? Or do you go champion? Because all the lightning damage. I think you could go Templar Rip Fortify, right? And Doriani. Yeah, man, that's a lot of lightning damage. That's a hit build. That is a hit build. In Doriani prototype. What's... You mean the, the boots? So you don't go Templar. Is this a Jug? There has to be a Jug now, right? Verdant Cascade. Jesus, you're giving me shit from other builds that I have no idea. Well, that's a, that's a lot of fun because I don't know these things. The game is vast, so vast that you need like full encyclopedias to fucking learn the game. It only has the fucking fun fun though. Oh, I have the wiki here. Isn't this from the oh It's Vengeant Cascade, not Verdant. <laughs> Vengeant, right? But, yeah, only Anointments. Okay. Simplify projects return now, so it the end of its flight path. Okay, that, it's getting more and more insane the more you speak. <laughs> this is making me fun, yeah. So you go for a joke, you stack armor. And then, or or do you just convert lightning to other damage taking? I think you can do that, right? But then there's other paths of like, what the fuck? You should go for minus sixty lightning resist, or even less if you can. And then you go for crit. You know what? Let me play Skyrim. This all makes me want to play PoE, and every time that I give me new shit, I click on that item, uh, the, 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 the link, and I see new shit, oh, I want to play PoE, oh, it's Crucible, shit. And then I have, oh, it's Crucible, oh, it's Crucible, I, I hate Crucible right now, <laughs> I don't know why. A lot of people enjoyed that reading, I like, so, yeah. <laughs> Just look up the build, a lot of people are going for a champion or raider. Raider! Oh, yeah, you attack a lot, have frenzy charges, do you go for avoid elemental elements fully? Phase, spell suppression, or even just some slots and full retard DPS soft core builds. <laughs> Same really don't enjoy the mechanic. 
Yeah, I really thought I enjoyed that. But it's so OP, I can't <laughs> Alright, let's continue here. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. I don't have this, I have to go back there, grab that shit. Wait a second. Is this? No, that's not one of them, right? No. Um. Okay, what? No, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I have to put these two cubes here, and then I have to go forward to obtain the two other cubes so that I can put here. But I think I can only go forward if I put these cubes here, and one of the cubes is right there. Did it come from here? It came from here. No, relax, dude. I am establishing myself. If I ever establish myself as a streamer, I am starting as a variety streamer. Because even though I wanted to be a POE streamer, and I know a lot of theory craft, and I, I, I know I, I can be a really try hard, it's really hard to establish yourself when there are so many other established streamers out there. And so I am... I also am discovering like the beauties of the single player, so it's fine to, to do segues, I don't mind. Especially when I'm learning shit like you're telling me, that's so cool. But I have to know now where was it that I installed these little cubes here. Okay, here he is. Okay, here. Yeah, it is to the right, I think. No. No. Yeah, I think it's going to be the one that I was looking in the first place. Like up there. Is that there? Where are the shots? No worry, you're still having a lot of fun with Skyrim. Oh, yeah! Of course, Skyrim is fucking amazing, dude. It is. Okay, is it cheating that I came here? I don't know, no. I think people would come here naturally, won't they? Wouldn't they? Hmm. I think this game is like over 10 years old, it is! And it's unmodded here! Oh no, it's kinda modded now that I learned that the, there is Creation Club shit in the, the Anniversary Edition, so... But it, it is the way the Bethesda wanted me to have the game as an anniversary edition, so no mods, as many people are just playing the game with mods. I'll be... I, I, so, so we are going to have a showcase of Bethesda, and one hour after, in, into the showcase, they are going to segue into Starfield Showcase, I'll be streaming that, and I think... Uh, so, I'm going to... In the next streams, I'm going to be finishing Skyrim. I have, what, three, four streams to go to actually finish Source Time, finish all the quests, side quests, main quests, exploring everything. I know I'm going to be doing this in 20, 30, or 40 hours. And yeah, I'm here. There are 32. I know that like 40 minutes of this stream has been spent with Pure Exile, but it doesn't matter. And after that, I'm going to, for Celestia, a pixel art game that a, game, uh, a friend of mine gave me. I don't know if I'm going to be finishing it fast or not. Be it so or not, my plan was to go for for a Star Wars game that Chop gave me. Chop just left like one hour ago. And I'm thinking here now that I might restart Skyrim 
to go for a mage playthrough until Baldur's Gate 3 comes, which is 31st of August, which is a bitch because we are going... I'm going to have six or seven days to finish before Starfield comes. But I'm also really excited about the PO, um, <coughs> the, the PoE uh, um, convention. I think I'm going to stream to, to co-stream all of it. I think it's what, what, 12 hours plus 12 hours? I don't know, 8 hours? Eight, I, I don't know. I will be streaming everything that I can. And I don't know when the next league comes. I forgot, like, I lost my time track. And I'm going to be really challenged about playing Starfield versus playing the new PoE League, dude. I'll probably do it, like, like I've been doing it, like, play 20 days of PoE or 30 days of PoE and go back to the games that I was playing, like Starfield. But if, if Starfield is everything that I expect it to be, <laughs> I'm going to have a hard time going for PoE, dude. Oh, God. Now it's fine, it's lower friendly mod, who cares? Again, what opinion is a single player game mod is whatever. Should be like a week after Xyocon, I think. Because they are doing the review at Xyocon. Do you see? So, the, okay, let me check the Xyocon here. Good, good, thank you. Xyocon date. What? July 29th to 30th. So, June, July, August. So, um, one or two weeks after ExileCon. More like one week after ExileCon. So, I think I'll be playing Path of Exile through the whole of August. Then by August 31st, I stop. I get the, the bandwagon of all the hype of Baldur's Gate 3 watchers because I still have to grow the stream and I want to play Baldur's Gate 3 even though I'm not that hyped I was uh, as I was in fucking 2019 four years ago when I bought this game but yeah whatever I, I want to play it and it's Forgotten Realms which is fucking my love and six days seven days to Starfield release so I have a mission here now <laughs> I have to Kill everything possible and not die. Go deathless like I did. I died for for poor Joyce and I'm so proud of myself because that was my first and only card. I played one. I that's the since I started playing Pepe Exile, that's the only league that I've played one character. Partially because I didn't like the league, but even though it was because I didn't like the league, it was only one character. But I accomplished all of what I normally accomplished if one character. Plus the series arc, I'm so happy. <laughs> now I have to go for Maven, then Cortex, then Uber Elder. Then I have to start some Uber bosses. The only problem of the other Uber bosses is that 1 million DPS is not enough. I need either to change the builds and just deal with it mentally. Because I really like to play this build that I am playing. And just copy a build and go for it. Like, <laughs> hey Machete, what's good in the hood? How are you doing? And, and or just improve this build with like ashes or just try this crafts of scepter and maybe i guess like 97 with a little more damage there 1.1 1.2 million with the scepter goes to 1.5 1.6 million dps which in the dot area is pretty good but i don't know if it is enough for the ubers like i've been seeing i saw the last video of, of zizeron killing every single uber in 30 minutes of a video that he made I don't know what he's doing, dude. But look, my series arc was pretty comfortable. I got a, a close call because I'm, I'm dumb. But it was pretty comfortable. I killed the series arc in five minutes time. I barely used TPs. So, a normal one. Zizeron killed the series arc in two minutes time. The Uber, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck? That's insane! No, it was not the... It, it was not the series, sorry, sorry. The Eater. And the last Eater that I killed, I think, was 6 minutes. The normal one. And so, since it's 70% reduce, reduced damage, the time is going to multiply by, like, 3. I'm going to take 18 minutes or 20 minutes without missing anything. Because the, the, these bosses that have so many death slams, the more the fight lengthens the more you have a chance to just misclicking and dying so yeah i need more dps and a different build 
Uh, what's good at the... Oh, yeah, I'll share it here. Yeah, not enough because they take like 70% less damage. Yeah, it's the mod of the thing. It's the biggest thing. The, they inflict more damage and the, the mechanics are different, but I also memorized those. I didn't memorize the Cortex or the Maven, not yet. But I memorized the Uber uh, Ether and the Uber Searing. I did memorize them, but it's it's I need more damage. Yeah, Your best bet would be like Uber Shaper, Uber Ether or a Zork because you can do them white. I mean, I think Queen 6 9 on a tanky build took like 28 minutes for Uber Eater. I saw this video too. I saw this video too. It was like with the shield crush, right? Shield crush? I think that, that was that. So, okay. So, you know what? After, for the, all of this to work, I have to finish Skyrim. So let's continue. <laughs> Skyrim. Yeah. Then I love, I love the, 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 the Queen. And I, I, I really appreciate the way that he's like very truthful and not politically correct at all. I really appreciate that for him. And if you if you follow them on Twitter, you see that Bex talks to him in a very delicate way, because she is the the not the woman the person of GDG responsible for social medias, and she's the communication person. And Queen like is the <laughs> is the opposite. So she talks to him like uh, like <laughs> the the it's 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 very funny to see. Where am I? I entered this place here that I think I shouldn't be, but I, at least I got a, a chest here. There's another chest. Oh no, this was the chest that I got in the first place. So now I go to the other one. Ah! No, it, 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 it was supposed to be with the whirlwind. Um, oh. Can I steal a soul from them? No, he resists. Because when we kill them, he gives us a soul that is charged already, so yeah. D D D D Dwemer 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 Lever Lever. Where <laughs> <laughs> I took something that I shouldn't. Oh, what was it? Extremely petty. You recall the map? Look lesser, larger, commercial. Yeah, that's. that's the one. Have an oil. I'm at this, and then I heal. <laughs> oh oh okay. This thing protected here. Like. Oh, let's miss all the arrows, of course. Jesus Christ. And I... <laughs> I hit him by accident. Oh my god, seriously, game? <laughs> Not only that, <laughs> like the only hit that I that I hit him, I ended up breaking the thing, the the paraly paralysis. <laughs> Unfortunately. Oh my god, that's so stupid. Holy shit. Why do I want iron ore? I mean, I could transmute it, but I, I'm not farming money anymore. This, this is old. <laughs> okay, let's see. So I put this here. Now what? I just came from there. I don't need this anymore, game. Um.
I think I need to pick up everything back because I don't need this 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 rooms anymore. With the water level this high, we can swim across the collapsed part of <laughs> the passage and reach the other side. At least he's <laughs> not with one feet. Oh yeah, you needed the water high, nice. But what about down here? Do we have anything down here? Oh, there's the black market too. <laughs> Am I heavy? I'm not even... I have nothing. I have this. I, I'm not selling this. I, 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 yeah, okay, let's let's bring the back market here. So we meet again. I'm sure we can strike a bargain. Okay, bye. Yeah, and then I have... Oh, great. Oh, great, don't move, and then move, and then don't move! I <laughs> married again! Okay, I want my arrows back. One, two... Who are you seeing? Drinking ends. Is this guy going to stand up? I don't think so. Oh, he's going to. Really? <gasps> Goodbye. Oh my god. What? The, I can't fight in the water? Apparently I can. Oh, I was standing up here. A little extra protein. I didn't. Relax. Oh, the one arrow here floating. Oh, that's good! Oh, good! The bone arrows float! Ah, thank you. Now let's breathe on the water and then go there. What do we have in the other side of the room? Oh, come on. Damage is good. Always. That's a bit of a game. So even like the initial area of Starfield, initial area, there is a pillar. You go behind the pillar, you're going to find 
<laughs> five things there. I picked one of those by accident again. Check your posture. Lots of places in the world people eat insects. What? Is this fun facts? <laughs> you are reading room, right? Not here. Dark. So don't worry about drinking it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I imagine, like, by the times of the tribes or something, that we were, like, starved. People would eat insects, definitely. There is a soap opera of Brazil, very, very old. 90. 1995. Let me see here. Nineteen ninety six. In nineteen ninety six, one of the first episodes, this so Hedo God is the king of cattle. Um, this this actor here, no, the actor that made his character young, was um, hang upside down by the legs, and then the bandits, the rivals, uh, cut his thighs and left him with thighs peeled like banana peels like the skin and a little part of the muscle and left him to die there and then a guy this the character of this guy here young found him uh, carried him through the jungle and uh, sewed his his uh, thighs and when they were like trying to survive in the jungle they were eating um, cockroaches and then they, he would say that cockroaches is, are, 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 are rich in protein. And yeah, there's, uh, if you follow politics and if you follow people on, on the news, that there's like a, what do you say? A kind of a movement for people to start eating insects, to solve a little bit of the um, agriculture pressure because there's so many people and blah, blah. I don't think we are going to be needing to eating to 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 be eating insects, but I know they are very healthy. <laughs> they are not going to be tasty. They don't look good, but they are an explosion of protein and vitamins and shit. Of course, you have to wash them and shit. I'm not too to know that, but it's not like I want to fucking eat grasshoppers or something. <laughs> no fucking way. No. I remember my ch my chicken, chocolate covered crickets are good. Oh my god! Don't you tell me that you have had that. My mother, when I was like 10 or 9, my mother in the backyard of my house, small house, and small um, chicken sty, is that what we call? I don't know. Let me see what's that called. Hen house. My Henry. Henry? Poultry farm Henry. Yeah, my mother had one of those. <coughs> Sorry. I mean, a lot of people ate insects without knowing because of the cochineal red dyeing food. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I saw, I knew about this because I, I, the first time that I read about what a vegan is, they wouldn't eat, like, food dye. I was like, why? It's because it's, it's like, like, purple and red are just round 
like beetles. <laughs> I didn't know about that, but I don't care. But yeah, grasshopper tastes fine. It's just a matter of seasoning. Yeah, it's probably like potato. I don't know, but I won't eat a cockroach. <laughs> oh, I won't eat a cockroach. No, nope, not at all. I have to be dying the Amazonian jungle to eat a cockroach, definitely. Okay, we'll leak like a raccoon. Yeah, just certain bugs, yes. For example, um, what's the name of the animal? Sloth. People eat sloth here. Here, no. In my hometown. Not in my hometown, like in the countryside around my hometown. And they talk about the process of killing this shit. Like, like, they look sad to your face. Dude, I would be hungry as fuck. Oh, but I would be hungry, god damn it. I have even some stories, but I don't want to tell the stories here. They are, they are just bad stories. Of bad experiences of friends of mine. Yeah, so my mother had this henry. <coughs> it was, she had a much smaller house than this by the back of our backyard. And the, the, the bigger part was just having this area, right? This grassy area with a fence. We had a fence just cover it and we had some plants. But my mother just served them uh, corn so that we could have uh, eggs. And I didn't know back then because I was like very young. I think I was younger than 10 or 9. I think I was like 7 or 8. And when the, the chicken would stop laying like a decent amount of eggs, the, she would kill the chicken. And I got so sad every time that she would kill a chicken because I even named the chicken. I and my brother. Like she killed Melissa one day. <laughs> yeah, it's not pronounced like that, but it's exactly this name, like Melissa. Brazilian Portuguese. Oh, I refuse to eat. I refuse to eat for like one week. And of course she made chicken for one week. <laughs> Oh my god, I remember that. I don't know why I mentioned this now. Let me see. Oh yes, I saw them eating cockroaches and all sorts of insects. Like crickets and, and grasshoppers sometimes. Beetles. And then I was like, why? And my mother said, oh, they're very nutritious. They're very nutritious. You should, you should eat them if you are like in danger. So yep. Yeah. How they don't look like there are a lot of mean meat on them seems so inefficient. Oh no, not naming them. Seemed like you were traumatized. Oh, I was. And then afterwards, my father started to take me to the fair. So I don't know if it, it's the same thing. It's when I type fair here, I find this. But then I, I type strip fair. Then I find this thing. And I think I have to type street grocery fair to find what I have here in Brazil. Yeah, more like this, more like this. Okay, that's good. Um, so it's it's very frequent in Brazil, these types of street fairs for just grocery. My father would take me to a fair every Sunday, and every Sunday he would order a chicken. And the chicken place of this, in the 90s in my hometown, I don't know if that's how it is, has been that case that I don't go to, at least at the case that I don't go to a fair, because here I fucking just go to supermarkets, I don't know. Like I, I live in the very central area of the city that I live, and it's it's a very large city, and the, the metropolitan area, in the outskirts you have fairs, I know that because I've been to some, but I haven't been to some to, 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 to them to buy groceries, just for passing by. Back then, the, the chicken place had chicken, live chicken. So the guy, there's like a, an aluminum cone. The guy would put the chicken inverted in this aluminum cone and he would just slit her throat, its throat with a knife. And then the chicken would bleed there. Again, the first time that I saw that I didn't eat chicken for like a week. And then I refused to go to my father's, uh, um, my father to the fair. And then uh, after that, they, they uh, plug her and they just give you the, the chicken like super, super fresh for you to prepare the same day. They even remove the, the, the eternal parts if you want. So after I, I kept going, but every time, so he would warn me, uh, uh, I'm going to the chicken. And then I would just wander around with my other two brothers. Sometimes just one was present. 
to like a comic book stall and was going to just be there. My father would arrive like with the bag, the chicken in it. Oh my God. I have the psychological means to become a vegetarian, which I think is superior. Not that I think that people, okay, things are very different. Vegetarians and vegans are the most <laughs> insufferable people that you can be. <laughs> But being a vegetarian seems like the correct option, like the, the, the future of humanity, like being a better species, civilization, right? Better with your environment. I, like, I love meat, though. And so I have the psychological means for it, but I still love meat. And it's really hard not to <laughs> eat meat. Mexico bugs are eaten in a variety of ways, fried, buttered, or dipped in chocolate. Also, drinking tequila warms its thing. What? Oh, no, yeah, I've seen this. Yes. That's like the rice wine with a snake in it. It's nothing really special. It tastes like normal rice wine, really. There is an absinthe with, with an insect in. Um, yeah, this one, right? I remember I tasted one of those. It tasted like absinthe, which is basically alcohol. No, I mean, absinthe has a taste. You have to, <laughs> you have to be really drunk to, to try absinthe and just feel the absinthe. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, it tastes like just normal absinthe. So I tasted it and then afterwards my friend showed me the bottle and I was like, what the fuck? But I, it's just like absinthe. If you have tried this, yeah, it's all marketing, right? It, it just fucking tastes like absinthe, it doesn't change. I mean. So, whatever. Um, insect nutritious. From the nutritionist. Now, the initial room. Wait a second, where am I going? Workshop. Do I come back? I think I come back, don't I? Let's save the game now. I just don't think it's healthy to be eating meat for every meal every day. Yeah, I don't think too. I think it's it's. No wait. No, that's very healthy. Unfortunately, because we evolved like that. What is not healthy is eating processed foods every day, like vegetable oils. This is not healthy because we never, Jesus, we never evolved to process processed food in our stomach. For example, I said this the other day, I don't know if you were here, but listen to this. Coconut oil, I remember this book of nutrition that I was studying for this subject. And it was um, comparing vegetable oils by a grading of something that I forgot now what it is exactly but it's how much they are going to accumulate inside your vases right and the the ones that were on top on the scale are azeite de dende that is very common in Brazilian cuisine you probably don't know about it it's this thing here you probably don't know about it it doesn't matter this this thing here right that comes from Dende. That's Dende. And you can see that Dende is a type of coconut, mini coconut, right? And coconut oil. These two, okay, azeite Dende, with basically Dende oil. Dende oil and coconut oil, they were on top of it. Which means that if you consume them, they are going to be accumulating inside your vases right so that you can you have to do other things to not have a fucking heart attack or thrombosis whatever after a chronic usage of them why because in nature for you to actually harvest no 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 let's go evolving as a species we never would find this we would only find them and for you to acquire in your body, 
even one spoon of dende oil, you had to actually eat all of like five or four than this fully together with the fibers that come with it and the carbohydrates and whatever comes with it that you would feel shitty in the stomach and you wouldn't do that again ever again to have like a spoon of those equivalents in your body which is the same thing for the coconut oil to actually have the coconut oil to actually have the same amount of coconut oil of a spoon that you just drink in nature a hundred thousand years ago you would have to find these very dry coconuts and eat all these meats of one not one maybe half or 75 percent of one full coconut which creates a, a problem like i don't know if you you probably haven't tried them they obviously but you probably tried coconuts there's just so much that you can have you cannot have that much like you cannot have this much here i love coconuts but i love it when they are fresh and with water i drink the water i open it and i have that very thin layer of this coconut milk i eat it all i eat like from three or four coconuts but one of those after it's like a cube this size i'm good i'm fucking good so imagine back then for you to actually have the equivalent of a spoon of coconut oil 100,000 years ago, or even 100 years ago, 200 years ago, you would need to, f to fill your belly, get probably a diarrhea, or the opposite, that I forgot the name now, that you don't poop at all, and then you wouldn't repeat that process, ever. So now we are processing these foods that have other elements together with them, and separating just these elements and, and just going for, for coconut is a laxative. Yeah, so you would probably... Uh, <laughs> what is it? So you would probably just have diarrhea. And then we are separating the elements and then cooking with them. So you have to use lard. Listen to the nutritionist. Use lard. By the way, lard my mother removes lard from bacon right my mother buys bacon uses the meat gets the excess not all of the the fats because she's not crazy she likes the fat of bacon too but she gets part of the fat that includes the, that tough skin if you if you buy proper bacon right um and she boils it she, she uses the the frying pan or after she cooks she just reserves the excess oil puts in a little pot and gets this color and goes to the fridge and then she keeps using this for like two weeks why because not only we evolved with animal oil but also there is a property of animal oils that people don't know about animal oils naturally they remove the um, concentrated fats that accumulate inside your vases and these fats are normally from processed vegetable oils so soy oil which is the most red one that we use to cook is a fucking bitch the same way so don't use it if you can do not use any vegetable oil apart from uh, um, olive oil and if all, even olive oil should not be used to cook. You shouldn't cook. You shouldn't eat this. This is a cold seasoning. That's it. That's it. You shouldn't... First of all, you shouldn't heat any oil that is vegetable. Then you shouldn't consume processed vegetable oils. Because you can fucking have 50 olives and you're going to be fine. And uh, uh, olive oil is fine. In fact, there is rumors of Vikings just drinking fucking olive oil. Then you shouldn't put this under heat of any type. You <laughs> you would only use animal oils to cook. Once you remove vegetable processed oils from your diet, in weeks or months, your vases are going to start to remove those. Um, accumulations that cause thrombosis and other heart problems and by using animal oils 
you're going to finish cleaning them off and then you're going to be healthy unless of course you just eat so much that you get fat then you are going to have other sorts of problems but not these ones <laughs> every stream I, I teach nutrition for people <laughs> I should redeem this stream so okay let's go back to this what is that I have to do now there the guy the guy's already there i'm like here distracted and shit and the guy's already back there there is so much more to explore man can you just hold on a second and then it's this and this right is that it all is that all now is that door going to open what is going on oh How am I going to make fried rice without vegetable oil? Yep. Uh, fried rice, fried potatoes, you wouldn't, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be doing that. So my tip for you is to fry things in the, the dry... I forgot the name of that pan that is so popular now in Brazil and probably in the United States that you fry things without oil man I forgot I, f I forgot I actually forgot the name dry fryer is that it yeah you should fry things dry air fryer yes air fryer you should use that yeah I did I tried doing like, okay, one of the schools that I taught... Oh, shit. Well, what? So I have to pick one of those? I don't understand. Okay, the four are here, but I have to pick one of them to activate that. Oh, really? What did I activate here? I don't know. I activated a power. Which power did I activate? Black market. Okay, he's somewhere. <laughs> so then I use this. To open this shit. And then I come back there and I put that shit back there. Yeah, right? Let me save the game. He entered the motherfucker. I do actually use the air fry all the time to make french fries. Oh, that's beautiful. You should do that. Yes. But don't use vegetable oil. My mother doesn't have vegetable oil here because of me. Because I'm the nutritionist of the family, so I just teach them everything. And so no vegetable oil in the house. Can I enter like this? Oh, I see my arrows here. And my arrow. Oh, I can. Mm, no. No, I can't. Oh my god. Alrighty. Did I drum him yet? <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm going to leave them here. What does the quest say? So it seems to apply to the Dwemer reading room. So already opened the thing. I'll leave those guys here. Just like he fucking asked. So yeah, my, uh, what? Oh my fucking god, you, oh my god, dude. So yeah, my mother doesn't use, the house that I lived, like the, 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 where I always was with my friends, never had those. Okay, now this is open, and now do I enter? I think so, right? So yeah, lard. And even, it, it sells lard here in Brazil now. You just can buy lard. We buy lard from time to time, 
But my mother makes this this lard from bacon, actually. The last kill be somewhere in here. I hope it won't require more swimming around in this filth. <laughs> I'd guess that must be the pump activator up there. But how to reach it? We'll need to get all three of these bridges down in order to reach the pump control. Do I need another one of those? I don't know. Let me let me try and then I if I need I go back there and pick them up. Of course I found the chest. Of course. Chest is just me. Shit. Oh yeah, three here. One. Two. Oh, okay. Well, that's an aggressive assault, but we'll need all the months to get to the pump control. I don't think so, and the war winds. Where's my arrow? Okay, rip the arrow. place here okay I'm in a place <laughs> well I'm not playing Pelex <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, good. Archery. If you do this in Pebex yeah, the effect is going to be good. <laughs> I want sound for, for the divine orb here. <laughs> it was probably... I was <laughs> Is it too loud? I think it's the adequate sound, yeah, the adequate volume. <laughs> but you're playing Pebex aren't you? So it was for you, I guess. <laughs> oh, a dwarven bow? Okay. So, this is a secret place. But not necessarily the correct place. You suck. <laughs> I don't. Oh, the thing floated. We'll need to get all three of these bridges down in order to reach the pump control. 
Ähm I am reaching the pump control here, dude. What are you talking about? No, I'm not. Okay, that's the pump control. It's there, right? You can see the fucking door. I can see this here as well. Of course there's a chest here. Oh god, yes. Oh shit. So I need the thing back there. You know what? I'm, I'm bringing one back here. Hold on. Because I think it's that's that's what I need. Why are you back here? The water is back up. That's it, right? I have five now. Where to? I'm following him. It's quite super glitch, so let's follow him. With the cube that I have. No. <coughs> <laughs> oh, here. <laughs> the gate is already open. Um. <laughs> no. All right. What is it that I have to do? We start a scene supply to do a reading room. 
Okay, I guess this quest is here. We have the cubes we need to start the boilers. Let's not waste any more time. But there is an activator somewhere. To start the boilers. And I'm not seeing. Oh, it's downstairs, right? No? So to wait the water? Stop, 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 stop. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> he he tells us off. I think you need all six. I have five. Don't I have five? I have five. But it's telling me I, I have all of them. Now I lack the required item. Boiler. Boiler. I might have misplaced a cube. Maybe in this area here? Is it like... In the workshop maybe? Um, because he's telling me that, that I have all the cubes. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's... Okay, there was a cube here. Oh, hello. So, no cube here. Workshop is going to be up here. I can't open because I need a cube. I think I misplaced the cube. Oh, the gates already open. Let's see. Let's see. I've been here, right? Yes, I have. Did you get the cube past the part where lure three bridges? Yeah. No, I think not. I think that's the cube. I think I just opened that part and never got a new one. Yeah, I think you're correct. I think you're correct. Let's see, let's see that. I think that's the one that I'm missing. You have the secret water breathing. Well, there should be a quest marker here. I think I got this cube. Because there's this control area here that I used the cube.
this was just a chest. The three bridges lead me to there. I have to go here. And maybe if there's a cube here, I didn't get it. But there, sh there should be a quest marker here. No, I got it. No, I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was here. Yes, I did. What's going on? I only have five, don't I? I think I need to lower the water in that room. Which room? What are you talking about? This room here? Before I leave the place. Because remember the bridges here? The one with the bridges. You mean there? By the way, have I been here? In that place? Let me see. I think it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, and this was... Oh. Yep, this room, I think. Here. But I just did this. Because remember the last cube being in a room past blade trap and poison dart. I, I, it was there. It was that room with the blade trap. It was. It's just that you missed it. I got that cube, yes. And then he said to, to leave here. To start the four boiler, then we should be able to open it. So I just needed five, not six. That's weird because I tried this exact same thing before and the water just went all over the place. What the fuck? Didn't I try this? I tried this. I know that I tried this. But I don't get it. Why it didn't work the first time that I tried. But I don't know. I swear I tried this before. I know it. But it, some some reason it didn't work. I don't get it. Wow. Expensive. What?
Oh, we just have to go up. There was just a bonus room. Okay, we just have to go up and, and get the book up there. Yeah. I'm getting fucking confused here. Path of knowledge. You deserve the first look. <laughs> Thank you, Machete. Thank you for the subscription, man. Thank you for the three months. That's so cool. Learn the hidden knowledge of Epistolaria Kuman. Epistolaria Kuman? Okay, these places are cool. Why do I have mead? Yeah, let's get drunk. <laughs> well fed. Go with the shout. Then I wait for like thirty seconds. Uh, uh, maybe not. I'm almost doing it. Somehow. Okay, good. At least I'm going to level up a little bit of history. <laughs> Yeah, 700 life is a lot. Time for some sleepy sleep. Uh, peace out, you remember, keep your feet on the ground and keep reaching for the stars. Thank you for being here, dude. I see you tomorrow or the other day. Or when you wake up, maybe I'm going to be streaming. When you wake up, who knows? So I'm going to be using Mark for Death. Mark for Death. And uh, sleep well, dude. Sleep well. Dude, your house. He he died already? Okay, I'll take it. Ouch.
this fucking soul. So you do you don't loot the ashes, you loot their mantles. Yours buy a recipe? What? Disgusting, show me. <laughs> oh, okay, you don't learn it, do you? Maybe you learn and it only shows when you go for the food. Chapter 3. This is a larger place than normal. What's this, for example? Um, what? Let me save the game before I do anything stupid. Oh! Okay, I'm stuck now in the thing. Not even buying soul gems anymore. The game gives you a, a great amount. It's actually fine. In the shit. I could have find find time to enter the thing. Is this the place of the lurker? No. Oh. Yeah, like I said, the game keeps keep gives keeps giving you. Um, oh, I killed this guy in one go. That's why I I thought it was like an image. 
another Tom of Conjure Sickness Fire and Darkness. Game keeps giving you enough soul gems if you just have the soul rape spell. Even for this enchantment that I put the maximum damage, the maximum everything, even though it consumes a lot, I can actually through noble scope sustain it. Spell tom. Dragonborn arrows? Oh. But if arrows enough. Very good. Edifice Ward. I have those. So I fail here. What a lot of damage! <laughs> Whoa. Saving, I'm gonna try the the sprint. Okay. Yeah, almost passed the the the. What, your, what is this? It's up there, but I have to activate something. Did I activate all of it? Okay, it missed a little bit of the puzzle, but I'm, I'm going to figure it out. Maybe I have to go to that platform there. Oh, 
Okay, I don't seem to have missed anything here. Okay, this is just bonus. Bonus. Then there's that place. Yeah, I'm like floating. What the fuck? And I'm in the scenario and then I fell. <laughs> yeah, let me load. What the fuck? I missed something. I don't know exactly what. So I go for the central one. And I will choose to fall here. And see if I had not missed anything. I, I go back, right? Let's see by the end of this if I... Like, really? I didn't miss anything? It really looks like I missed something. Oh yeah, I did miss something. Why it's an ink cloak? That's what I missed, wasn't it? already. Come on, keep dying fast. Choking grass.
Gasta Quata Quasis. What? Yep. Zlod language, and then I cannot understand it. Okay. I'll try to sell this for the guy in Winter Hall later. It's going to be used for him. Is it all Latin? I don't think so. I think it's a bullshit language. I think it's a bullshit language. Legendary Scourge. I don't have this book. The Maze Scourge Blast of Malakoth, Makan's legendary weapon, forged from Sacred Ebb when he found his vocal. The bane of explication. Explication. <laughs> so it's a poem with explication after. Explication looks like Brazilian Portuguese. Explicação. But it's normally explanation in English. What's going on? Drink water. Oh, okay, there he comes. Oh, there he comes. You thought to reject me, and yet here you are. Your journey towards enlightenment has led you to my realm, as I knew it would. What do you want from of, of me this time? You have entered my realm. You have sought out the forbidden knowledge that only one other has. Yeah, Morag. You... Or dragonborn, like Mirak. Mirak, a seeker of knowledge and power. I won't serve you, monster. I just want to defeat Mirak. <laughs> you will serve me, willing or not. Oh. Seek after the secrets of the world are my servant. I know what you want. To use your power as dragonborn to bend the world to your will. Huh. Here then is the knowledge you need, although. <laughs> You did not know you needed it. The second word of power. Use it to bend the wills of mortals to your purpose. But this is not enough. Mirak knows the final word of power. Without that, you cannot hope to surpass me. <laughs> Sorry. Mirak served me well, 
and he was rewarded. I can grant you the same power as he wields, but all knowledge has. Sounds like he's doing a, a way of impression, yeah. Isn't Miracle ally will help me defeat him? He has served me long and well, but he grows restless under my guidance. His desire to return to your world will spread my influence more widely, but it will also set him free from my direct control. It may be time to replace him with a more loyal servant. Hmm? One who still appreciates the gifts that I have to offer. Why do I need this word of power to the Fibrock? Even dragons submit to Mirak's voice. Without that power, you cannot face him. So say I. A Mirus Mura, master of the tides of fate. So, what's your price for the final word of power? Knowledge. For knowledge, the scar have withheld the secrets from me for many long years. The time has come for this knowledge to be added to my library. What if the skull refused to give up their secrets? My servant Mirak would have found a way to bring me what I want. So will you, if you wish to surpass him. Send the skull shaman to me. He holds the secrets that will be mine. Oh yeah, okay, we have a choice now. Pokemon Frost, Flame or Force? Force. May disintegrate the enemies? Wow! Holy shit! Okay, I'll go for the Force. Even going to test this shit. Yep, seen the most <laughs> yeah. What happened? What did you see? Different people have very different experiences when reading these books. It talked to him as Mora. You're still acting surprisingly sane, too. What did he have to say? He must have wanted something from you. What's the secrets of the skull in exchange for teaching me the third word? <laughs> What secrets could they have worth keeping from old Mora? Sounds like a bargain to me. Hermaeus Mora learns some fascinating new ways to skin a hawker, and you become the second most powerful dragonborn that ever lived. <laughs> well, that gives me a lot to think about. I wonder what it would say if you said he wanted the NPC I have some leader. ideas about how to locate more of these black books. But don't tell me, mate. I wonder if a dragon could be captured alive. It would make a fascinating. Well, I did this once. Oh!
Oh, the Zeppel Pies restored 220? That's new. Where's the mage? I don't know. I'm gonna have to sleep. Have everyone not running off to that damn sacred stone every night? I suppose I have you to thank for that. <laughs> so I go directly to the skull? Let me see. Yeah, I'll go directly to the skull. Let's go. No, 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 no. I'm going to go to the city because if I don't sleep, I cannot summon this thing here, this horse that is very slow. I have to be able to summon this horse. And so far, the only place that I can sleep is the actual city. The inn. Yeah, this response. Wait, they are appearing from the, the seas now. Ouch. Really? Jesus Christ, who the fuck is shooting at me? No, seriously, who are they? Fucking mages. Gotta go to bed, have a fun stream. Thank you for being here, Prometheus. And nice, nice teaching me new, new builds. I might need a new build if I want to advance my, my. Like I, mage, fire mage is very comfortable. I love playing it. It's very tanky, and uh, even though it has only one million DPS, 1.3 in like great options. But I have to have new builds. I have to have new builds. <laughs> have a nice rest, man. I see you another stream. this here again oh this is the fucking temple of course can I help you if you need a ride back to the mainland your contributions have earned you citizenship here friend I'll always consider you one of us how are things now that the mines are open again With the mines open Raven Rock has become a significant colony of the Dunma people again. I've been able to convince my superiors at House Redoran to send me the resources that they've been denying, now that we're deemed more important. Soon, we'll have a steady supply of workers and materials to keep things going for years to come. Okay. 
My doors are open. You've brought Ravenrock back. Involving Ravenrock. I can't thank you enough for reopening the ebony mines. You've brought light to the darkness, my friend. How are things now that the mines are open you again? You might think it's all perfume and roses now that <laughs> the mines open. But all I see is a new security problem on our hands. Making sure those shipments of ebony make it safely from the mine to the shipping docks is my new order of the day. And with Solstheim crawling with reavers and Azora knows what else, I can't risk any attacks on Ravenrock. Okay, cool. I appreciate the help you and I just leave. Can I? Oh, I can still sell shit. Yeah, everything I've got on display, really. Yes, she has the money from the last visit. If you need any supplies, you know where to find me. If you're looking to... Just what you see here. You need it. I think I got to 600,000 now. We <laughs> finished this game from a million gold. Yes. Let me see, let me see, let me see. See for yourself. 586,000. <laughs> 586,000. If you need it. Speak quick. Everything I've got on display, really. Bunch of scrolls. Need any support? And spell tomes. And speech might raise again. One more time. Need something? Everything I've got on display, really. If you need it. Make it quick. See for yourself. See for yourself. Why do I have a Dermer Cog? Wow, this is your shit. So. If you need any. Need something? Take a look. If 
you need any supplies and you've been a good friend to me that means something I need firewood now where can I find firewood here Severin Manor. Can I help you? You've brought so much hope to our people. We are forever in your debt. Let me cook in your house a bit. So tired here. Yeah, I've visited this place before, I remember. And since there these things are here, it looks like this house is the one that I will be buying or acquiring or something. Right? Look at it. I mean, you guys know. I'm the one that does. <laughs> it's probably this house, the one that I'm going to be acquiring, if I can acquire a house here. I need firewood now, before I go to sleep. I know I might be the last Imperial left on Solstheim. How are things not the mines? I've made the foreman of the mine, thanks to everything you did down there. It's good to get the old nose working again. I missed sniffing out the ebony <coughs> deposits and getting my hands dirty. Best of all, Aphia isn't so cross when I go down there anymore. Can I dig for ebony in River Oak Mine? Of course. In fact, Councillor Morvane has given you the full run of the place. Help yourself to whatever you like. No We're nice. all in agreement that you're entitled to as much as you can carry. Cool. Thank you, Strength. We're in there right now, then. Oh, here's the firewood. Now, where's the axe? Come on, I need the... Oh, here's the axe. Let's have some nice firewood here. We have six and leave three there for the next drive with appears. <laughs> when you leave before and then it continues, there's the invisible wax. Now let's check this mine, what's going on? Drink water. So I can't pick up everything now. Cool. It's not like there's shit that I need or want here. Ooh. 
Ooh, I can really fall here. There's creatures fighting. No, oh, the spider is there. Look at me. I'm a different person. And I have you to thank for it. How are things under the mines are open again? Be Sections that are being opened up have revealed some huge deposits of ebony. Old Crescious has a nose for exactly where to dig. If they'd only listened to him years ago, the town wouldn't have been in such dire straits. At this dire rate, straits. I'll be able to put a roof over my head in just a few months. Why should I pity you? Doesn't everyone pity the hopeless? Look at me. I'm no better than a beggar. I used to be a miner. A good one, too. I made more gold digging up ore in a month than some people earn in a lifetime. When the mine dried up, I was lost. I have no other trade, so I spend my time drinking my fortune away at the wretching niche. Or I used to, anyway. Used to? What happened? That fetcher Geldis won't even allow me inside. Said I was bad for business. If I want to spend my last bag of coins getting drunk, that's my business. What does he care? I could talk to him for you. You could try. If you can get that stubborn mule to let me into the niche. I'll make sure you get what's coming to you. Okay. It might take time. Let's do that. Is there like more places to explore in the mine? I don't think so, right? There's the whole barrel. Maybe here? I think I'll just go away. Ouch! Oh, of course I'm exploding. I have a torch on me! <laughs> oh my god. Let's talk to the innkeeper. You got a good Welcome thing to the I did a Ben Browse a Dell drove from fallen. your inn. Have you seen Please. the poor girl? She's a mess. Oh, she used to be richer than Councillor Morvane, and she's spending it all drowning her sorrow. As much as I love making corn, I can't watch her do that anymore. I won't. She has a right to do what she pleases. I suppose you're right. If nice. she wants to spend her life Speech. at the bottom of an ale mug, so it's her choice. Tell her she's welcome back any time. Skyrim, born and nice. Raised. Sure thing. It's yours for it. I'm gonna go there first. When it's still kinda heavy, I wonder 
yeah, it's ingredients, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lot of ingredients. Let me make some potions here. No, later, let me talk to her. Help yourself. To know the mine's safe again. Because of you, my life has meaning. brazler has been nice enough to show me how to swing a pickaxe. She's an old hat when it comes to digging up ebony. I may not be an expert at it yet, but it's good to be back at work and have some coin in my pockets. Nice. Farewell, friend. Don't pity me. And don't look at me like that. I know what I am. You're welcome to the wretched at any time. Well then, I suppose I'm off to do what I do best. Here, this was something I carried around in happier times. Maybe you can find a use for it. Data Great Sword of Terror. What? Really? Holy shit. <laughs> okay. What the fuck? I waited for some like money, I expected some money, but nothing. <laughs> like a Daedric Great Sword of Terror? Good to know that. Need some sleep, let's go. Eight hours, let's go. Go <sighs> fat. Not hurry. <laughs> if you're looking for supplies, talk to Fethis. He'll it's 7 30 a.m. I guess I might stay a bit longer after all. Yeah, so what can I get you? Got everything from potions to pitchforks. Look, I have to wait one hour for him to be here. Take a look. If you need any All right, I think we're good. So, uh, death brain battle, ghosts, cleansing, soak. Convenience, kill, visit, visit, speak, locate. Student school. What? So it's a wreck. Let me see here. Sindiris folio. So 
If I do favor for them, will them allow me to buy a fucking house here? Oh, that's oh, that's the abandoned house. Maybe this could be the house. It's this one. You lost. Edit A. It's indeed it, yeah. You've brought Raven Rock back from the brink, traveler. That place won't be. If you're looking for passage to Vardenfell, you're up. Wreck of the Strident Squall. You uh oh, you you don't and for story that oh I think it's in Skyring, isn't it? Oh no here, 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 good. Let's go there and maybe I can secure a house here. It's to the south. Yeah, it's to the south. Oh nice. What's this? Oh! <laughs> this is passage. What the fuck is that? So what is this here? There is a flag there. Uh, Started marching the dead. There's what I can captain something. Thanks. I wasn't sure I'd make it off this farm alive. I wish I could have said the same for my man here. What were those Some things? of the Redoran Guard have taken to calling them Ashspawn. Me, I don't care what they're called. All I know is they're a danger to Raven Rock and they need to be stopped. How did they bring you to this old farm? I was going to search for clues that might lead me to wherever they're coming from. I know it isn't the best place to start, but we know they've been coming from this direction. I'd be glad to lend you a hand. Good. I can use all the help I can get. Besides, I don't feel comfortable leaving Raven Rock behind. And I'd hate to lose any more Redoran Guard. Where, where, where do I begin? We were searching the farm when the Ashspawn ambushed us. Have a look around and see if you can turn up anything useful. Let's go this note to one of the Ashspawn. This is strange. The note says it's from General Falk's Carius. But that's impossible. Impossible? Why? Well, Carius was the Imperial Garrison Commander at Fort Frostmouth. But he died over 200 years ago when the Red Mountain leveled the place. There's no way he could still be alive. What do you want me to do? If General Carius is still alive, there must be something keeping him that way. I need you to head out to Fort Frostmouth and check it out. I'm gonna head back to Raven Rock and prepare the men for further assaults. What are these Ashborn? It seems into my open again. I've had to muster some more men to protect the mine, but I don't really have a problem with that. Second Councillor Arano is concerned that once word reaches the Reavers that the mine has reopened, they might think about paying us a visit. I say let them try. My men are ready for them. Okay. 
Be careful. This general curious sounds out of his mind. Ash Hopper. So the farm is very, very small. The house is basically ruined. By the way, do I have any disease? I don't even know. Okay, no. And the weight is a mountain. Save the game. Oh. I was going to that island, but I go later. Here we have whatever that woman wants. Okay, it's raiders here. So Jim Legend of Ouch? Put my arrows. It's interesting that they take the arrows and then they remove the arrows from them to shoot at me back again. <laughs>
Hearthstone. Then it's warm. I mean, I killed everybody here already, right? I think so. And this this yeah, these strong boxes are full of, of riches too. Lurcy are gonna made folio. <laughs> <laughs> That's the book? Ancient Nordic Pickaxe, nice. Dude, <laughs> this is basically is mud. Oh my god! Oh my god! We, I, I'm. Oh my god! I'm not going to read this loud. <laughs> That's it. To the Arana family, when I showed up on your doorstep in Morrowind that day, I expected to be thrown back into the streets and cast aside like some sort of vermin. Instead, you offered me into the warmth and safety of your home. For that, we will be eternally grateful. Please accept this rare folio edition of my work as a sign of appreciation for your kindness, Crustus Curio. You're safe here. Polish my spear. Oh my god. Uh. Oh my god. Fucking god. Okay. Porn in Skyrim. It's not really porn, just a little smuts, but. <laughs> what the fuck? Polish my spear. Oh, it could take all night. Have all the time we want. It's plenty of time. Oh, there's shit under water. Let me check them. No more skeleton. <laughs> there's there's a hole. You can see, but you cannot go.
these insects are everywhere and there's just some sound, I guess. Oh, some more arrows. No, I cook now. Let me go back there. Oh, but I'm visiting this island. I want to check out check out this island. Hmm. I can mine some hot stone here. What I want to just want to take a better look. Okay, fire is open. Weapons. Really? So they're not hostile. Oh, they are. Oh my god, don't make me lose these charges. I think this goes for the pet. Petty, right? No. Okay, where's the other one? And they're probably petty. It's lesser. Better than Patty. Patty's probably a skiver. Oh, look at the moon. Very cool. That's a river, Dad. River, river. Whoa! Okay. Treasure. I'm going to have some more here. Exploring is always good, man. For that reason. Could sleep. Some potatoes and chest. Look at this. It's much more than I expected. Oh, come on. <laughs> I thought it was my my relating force here. I thought it was the the whirlwind spirit. Sorry, sorry. They're going to finish it. Yeah, 
out. You've brought Raven on your missive for you. Have you have no idea what this means to me, to my family? You're smut. The nations bless you. Well, you've certainly proven your worth around here to me. Please accept this gift as a token of my appreciation. It's because of extreme archery. Yeah, that looks interesting. Hold on, what? Nah, mine is better. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. losses in due time. I can't thank you enough for reopening the ebony mine. You've got so much light to You've been a good friend to me. The finest weapons and armor. It's 23 bone arrows. I want to... Bring your weapons I don't know if I can. It's busier now. Absolutely. Just what you see here. Yeah, whatever. And results. If you need any supplies, you know where to find them. Just what you see here. Speech 73 and growing. If you need any supplies, you know where to put Almost 2,200. <laughs> if you're looking, take a look. Need to put away some shit. All the statues of Dibella are on the ground. Come on, dude. Oh, sh shit. Come on, man. It's a lot of work to put them on these things. Oh my god, dude, it's not that hard. Oh. Ah, oh, seriously, dude. Okay, like, not even like this, Stace. Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, God. Here, let me see what I put away. I put away the statues of... <laughs> now, what else? 600,534 gold. Five stones. All the books that I can put away here.
If I found the, if I found, if I find a house here, I'll be taking these books with me and stashing them there. But if not, it's like, what can I do, dude? Oh yeah, I should. Okay, yeah, I should craft a little bit of potions now. Not even in rift, and I'm gonna craft here and then sell, of course. Mostly for for. Um, I don't know who said. Ah, so you're an alchemist then. Experience. Remember, I have plenty of potions and ingredients if you're ever in the market. Forty-five marksmen. That's the only thing that I want. Yep, okay. Captain Bet cement and how valuable you've become to the Redoran Guard. The counselor and I appreciate your assistance. I'm glad to lend a hand. You must be quite a bit of your raw materials repairing their weapons and armor. I'm sorry we can't compensate. Not to worry, Adra. I'll recover my losses in due time. To report, Captain oh my god! I used the tap roots. I'm stupid. Something troubling you? I no, I'm loading this. I nope. Nope, no, 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 nope, nope. Oh no. I think I'm I'm dropping something else here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I work for Mogul. You got a problem to talk bad. to him. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I could only forge five marks on what, what she has. Look at this one. Come on, Mogul. I don't know who. Take a look. Remember, I have plenty of potions and ingredients if you're ever in the market. Keep discovering shit. I mean, to finish this game and still be discovering shit. Look at this. talking about that. I have a knack for smelling trouble. For some reason, you read them. I promise you, I have nothing but good intentions towards everyone in this town. Five block. 
carry weight, okay. Um, but I, uh, okay, not in any. I don't know who. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Remember, I have plenty of potions and ingredients. Oh, by the way, before I fuck this up again, uh, I don't want to reset her. I think I can sell it to the guy. I think he's already reset. Yeah, so, just what do you see here? Yeah, see? Right, now what? I'll give you this warning only once. Stay out of my way. I mean, there's so many things to do. My weight is much better. My weight is much, much better. That's what I wanted to see. I shop her leg, what? Let's go to this one. Have I been here? Not really. I think I started it and I stopped it. Why did I stop then? I don't know. I'm very confused right now. Did I not go here? It looks like I went. No, yeah, I've been here, didn't I? Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, my game crashed. I think I think my game crashed. Almost oh I'm almost leveling up. I don't infiltrate, fuck that. Let me kill everybody. And then it, it sucks the life for me you can see the animation like the reddish energy coming this game is so cool 
where have I been that I never played this game before? I have to clean the little box. This man arrived and I, I hear a cat. Give me a sec, I'll put some pills and I'll be back soon.
sorry. It was a little lengthy because it was a little messy. But here we are again. So. Right. So I was about to finish exploring this little place here. We have these guys here. Ordinator. Indori Warmer. I want this, but it's so heavy. Ordinator Shield. I want one Indori Helmet. Indori Boots, Indori Gauntlets. I want for my collection. It's not very valuable now. I have two necklaces. Wow. Two necklaces. Two gold necklaces, I mean. Two gold necklaces. I'm Alexia. Food. Yeah, I'm here. I'm right here. At the hidden temple. Shit. What's mining ebony now? this Kill General Fox Caius. I mean, I'm going to kill the cultists. Yeah, make a line. Perfect. Make a fucking line, motherfucker. What did I want to make a line? It's like a fucking machine gun here. <laughs> da, 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 da. Master of the Tribunal. Should I pick some ebony scimitar? I 
And you know boss is your now. Before I lose myself, Marks of the Tribunal and Letter H of Journal. This and this, Masks of the Tribunal. Do the test of the Goddess. The Goddess commands you to recover the artifacts of her fellow God Kings. We have received word that the Mask of Vivek is being transported to River Rock to an unknown ship at the dock. We don't know the destination, only that to ensure secrecy, multiple couriers are being used to hide the identity of the Mask Bearer. However, our contact at the dock says the courier is a member of the guard who patrols the bulwark. He has plans of his own for the mask. He's arranged a meeting with a buyer after midnight at an unknown location. His greed angers the goddess. Dispose of them both and return the artifact to her rightful hands. In addition, the goddess's temple is in need of new servants, both to restore the temple and to provide valuable services. Speak to priest Druras. He will hand you a letter to be delivered to the Banish Priestess, Afia Velotti in Raven Rock. She is a friend to the Tribunal and will translate it so that it can be passed to the common folk. When you meet her, be sure to also inquire about the whereabouts of our apothecary, Kurate Melita. She had been in search of the Mask of Sotha Seal. Succeed and you will gain access to the Goddess's armory. Fail and you will incur her wrath. The law is as the Goddess commands. So, thing twisted and normal. Just like the other one. And then... This guy's journal. Five hand servant have once. Yet those numbers have dwindled as I deign to stand here alongside hedge wizards, south swords and other vermin on two legs. I cannot help but weep for the lady in her station. Still, I would not allow them access to the armory. They do not deserve the honor to wear in the sacred garb. To do so means you are an extension of the goddess. Our bodies and soul belong to her, and are fortified by her divine magic, so it was for my ancestors, and so it is for me. Such I will not see my lady's hands covered in filth. The matriarch may have granted them a place on the days, but while they stand eye to eye, they are still beneath us, and so they are beneath her. I would slay every last one of them, but I stay my hand for her sake. As long as they are loyal and do the ladies' bidding, I will allow their hearts remain beating against their soiled flesh. Soiled flesh started her words against theirs. Pick up the letter from Priest Jureth. Ask about the missing curate. Track the red door and guard's movements after midnight. What's this? Cleaver of Scent Films. They'll be taken. And they'll be showcased. Buyer beware. Get a bunch of people here. All important. Visparth Shono. Wow. 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 Oh, valuable. <clears throat> In the bars of Riot, every day he reminds us how we're not worthy to wear his precious ordinator armor. Even though I'm pretty sure if push came to shove, I could take him. But since I'm not good enough to be her hand, just for fun I started calling myself... <gasps> Sorry. Alexis stole. Dirty little toe at that, with a lot of ash under the nail. Anyways, I tossed the idea to Indobar and knocked back another pint as the veins on his forehead started popping. I also offered to anoint Sindra's as Amalexia's navel. Because why not? There is enough body parts on her ladyship for all of us. Indobar didn't think it was very funny, must be in the blood. Same goes for me, after all. My ancestors were armagers, loyal to Vivek, and more importantly, knew how to take a joke. Can tell whose side Sandra's is on, but you can't really get a raid on what the mage thinks, given he's got a mushroom on his head. Okay. As far as ordinator. Did I loot? Oh, I did loot. Oh, 
Oh, cool. There are people working back there. So I'll be here. But then later I'm going to go stealthy again. Whoa. Disgusting. Man, what a beautiful place. Wow. So we have... Wow, it's... Okay, let me save this. Maybe a little confusing. I'm starting with the left. What is that? A little farm? A little subterranean plantation. There's there's sun! Okay. Okay, cool. There's sun. I don't think you could fall from uh, like upstairs too here. What's I'm stealing the Asian? Killing me? Stealing. I'm murdering everybody here. Why wouldn't I steal some Asian? <laughs> and more. Alrighty. Let me see, can I go here? Like. No, there is nothing here. Now let me go to this one here. That's the forward, right? Yep, that's the forward. Check your posture. This is the last one. Looks like it was the last one. Kind of sort of seal. Get back. So it was actually building the shrines, yeah. Scope the Vista Journal. The statue was my masterpiece, my one true love. Some say she's too large, too grand, but I would have made her a thousand feet tall if I could. For my love is a titan, and we are but useless worms groveling at her feet. However, to sculpt a goddess came with no shortage of anxiety. The pressure I felt to chisel, chisel every line, hone every curve, and do so with exact Exacting precision was almost too much to bear, but the end result was one I take immense pride in. These days the anxious voices in my head are no more, instead they speak in a patois of ease and routine. I have fallen into a simple routine, making shrines with basic carvings and a tribute to the three. For all of this, for all of Maxia, all Malexia, this for Sotha Seal, this for Vivek. Yet it is risk that makes the sculptor an artist. It is daring that turns the ordinary into the sublime. I dare to sculpt a goddess once, as I, as I chisel away at these blocks of stone doing the same tired work. I wonder, is it too late to be that bold again? In this fucking journal. Very cool, man, this little structure here. That's it, he's dead, and let's continue. It's good for sneaking, I think. Oh, it's an upper passage, isn't it? An upper passage. Nobody here. I mean, I killed everybody. The bull has more. Nope. I'm going to get hungry, I promise. I pick up a lot of food. 
I'm going down. Mammoth Tusk? Really? That's displayed? Why? Oh, there's a chain here. Finish looting this thing. And loot. Matriarch Drevland's Journal. When I first entered the Great Chamber, I was there again, in the high chapel nested in her glow. Great pillars surrounded the stone where the goddess of Malexia once stood, as if it were washed in the fire. One hold had shed its skin to reveal a temple of rock and bone. I knew then that this stone was the heart of our goddess, and through faith, love, and, and sweat, we have slowly restored her flesh. Now that she's almost complete, my thoughts turn to my old friend, Adern Revo. He was the diviner whose crying bought, brought us to this holy, holy place. Without him, none of this would be possible, yet time and toil change him, to the point I question his devotion. Wherever he is, I hope has regained his love for her. Goddess, our work does not end there. If her hands to guide me, we will read this word of her dissidence. We will reunite the fires of hope and truth under the, her banner and theirs, and let the lights of AMCV shine on servants and apostates alike. Sleep here. I don't sleep here. One good hour. Refreshed. Refreshed. <laughs> nice, nice candles. Beautiful, really. Okay. Oh, this, this, this thing. Oh, cool. Very cool. Very cool. Now down here... I still didn't go to the right. I came here still forward, but there was a passage, so I came to the passage. I mean... I'm informing you guys, but I also am memorizing for myself by saying it loud. I am a audition learner. It's kind of destroyed, kind of ruined. Nothing happens. Okay, pulled one time. It's for like an arena? What is what was that? There's that exit. No that, yeah, and then there's this one. I bet this one connects to the other. Yeah, it will it will drink water. Filled gets very dry. Dead. Goes to the tribunal. Everybody's fucking dead. Right, and here it connects. Okay. 
Is this a propaganda letter? Is a propaganda letter to the translator? <coughs> Struggling to rooms. I'm, I'm about this. Wow, my throat is really dry. I think I'm going to have something sweet with a snack just to <coughs> have the sugar go to my throat and make it better that I've just pissed right down here. I, it's okay, it wouldn't play another. Priest read this journal. The temple is almost complete, but there is work to be done. So much work and not enough hands. Where once stood an army, now only a dozen of us remain. This would not be the case if the matriarch had delivered justice to the diviner Erden Revel. <sighs> Sorry. For his blasphemous comments about the corpus. Instead, she offered him exile, which to me was more reward than punishment. Worse yet, he was allowed to sway Althamis and a few others to join him. We cannot afford to let sentimentality affect our decisions. I need to remind her we are at war, and every dumber loss is a soldier to, for the enemy. Okay. What is about this propaganda? One. Princess Velotti, here is a transcript of the letter we found in the archives. Your expertise in this matter is required as your discretion. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah. So, let's do the rest of the quest. Um, let's look. <coughs> Everybody's dead. But I have to give it to them, they made a fucking great place, and this statue is amazing. And the sun touches her in a way that you can actually see how well sculpted she is. They made pennies? What the fuck? So, oh my god, look at that. It's so cool. Let me go up a little bit. Look at this ship. Amazing. Very fucking cool, man. This is cool. Look at her legs. Yeah, like that too much. Catch one scene. <laughs> Tattoos in the belly, in the arms, a, a armband. It's on the other side. <laughs> Take a look at the other side. Mm, looks like a, a bracelet here. And then. Uh, <laughs> he made her voluptuous. Big breasts, like nice thighs, but I mean, is she really like this? I can't zoom anymore. She has these horns coming out of her head, bangs. Then a cow. She has hair. She's a dumber, probably. Some shoulder. <sighs> 
things. Very cool. Very fun. That's in the place Ash Falls Tear. Fed, really? Oh, yeah, let's let's do this. But first, I want to put away a bunch of shit, and I want to. What time is it? I want to sell shit as well. I don't put away a bunch of shit. Because I'll be showcasing armors, beautiful things. I'll be showcasing. Hmm. Oh, that's the first thing. Cheating is just expensive, and I don't find it beautiful, so that I really want to. Oh, this goes. Right? Okay, very good. Doubt the things for, for showcasing are much lighter. I can't imagine. Yeah, I even took a map in the temple. <laughs> so let's go for the contact. It gets lonely out here, you know. On this road. <laughs> okay, let's go here. Crinders have I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for I don't know what you did in those mines, but it put a smile on Cretius's face. <coughs> I've never seen him so happy. I was told you can translate these letters. Of <coughs> Wait for two hours for the letters to be translated. I understand that Temple Curate has gone missing. It would seem so. Okay. We curate Milius, Milit be careful, curate Milita's plea. Is it curate? I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly. Hold on. Let's check as always. Curate. Curate. Yeah, it's double stressed. Priestess Velocity, you or whoever reading is, is reading this, I need your help. Well, that's a stupid thing to write. Of course you're reading this, you wouldn't be staring at a piece of paper and not read it, would you? Not unless you're literate or mad. Not angry, mad, but I clip my toenails with a fork, mad. You get what I mean. Point is, I think I've found it, the mask of Sotheth Seal, in Kagranzel, a dwarven labyrinth with a surprisingly high vowel count. <laughs> it's high up on the Velocity Mountains, and you're a Velocity too. Funny how that works out. There's just one problem. I caught myself in some contraption, and now I'm not sure where I am. We decided to make camp here and have one of the mercs I hired find help. Can't write or read or put together a coherent thought, but that's why I'm giving him his letter. Really, I should have just taken the mask and left the orb. You'd think I'd know better than to fall for a trap that obvious, but the orb was glowing and cute and looked kind of lonely. Side note, if you come rescue me, do not touch the orb. Well, of course we're going to be touching the orb now, right? And I'm going to be sitting down. I can't believe you found a way to reopen the mines. I'm Don't be, be put off by my husband's mood. For two hours. Enjoys having visitors. 
I don't know what you did in those mines, but it put a smile on Cretius's face. I've never seen him so happy. Can't pass the le What's wrong? You're not supposed to be in here. You're not supposed to be here. Oh my god, of course. Uh, okay, um... Oh my fucking god, I'm going to sleep. She got pissed? Really pissed. Head over to the oh my god. Welcome to the re- Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I know I can't sleep like properly. Seven hours. And there's nothing here, right? Oh, like okay. no chance in there. The mines are open and the shop is busy. Modin Veleth, captain of the Redoran Guard. I'm a little hungry now. This is the one I can sell shit. It's busier now that. See for yourself. It's still not reset, but I think it's fine. Oh, I'm, I'm going to be needing to reset. Yeah. Let's see him. If you need any supplies, you know what. <coughs> see for yourself. Wow, already? Wow. Money. If you need it. Those cultists were rich as fuck. Everybody had necklaces. Gold, silver, jewelry. What's pure? If you're looking. See for yourself. Very fast. No, no, no. If you need any, make everything I've got on display. Really. Zero exactly well. If you need it, what? There's going to be potions and gems, everything. If I level speech, I can level up. Need some? Take a look. So, if you need any supplies, you know where to find me. Not a translation. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do? I don't know what you did. You pass all the letters if you're finished translating. Thank you. Here, this is for you. <coughs> now, let's, um. Not talk about this anymore, okay? Give the letters to reclamation priests. I checked the letters.
You have lost the temple, but you are not lost. The right place exists in wrong time. Now that when the great egg bar doll cracked open, from its rotting yolk spilled the dissident priests and heretics, full of lies and falsehoods that give shape to Orthreloth, Orthreloth and his reclamation. But in reality, the bile spilled by the live rock cannot fool a minister of truth for long. The tribunal will rise once more, and the Grand Inquisitor will judge all from the beginning. For enter to our temple is the ending of words. Um, CV. Okay, this goes to the priest. Right? Reclamation priest. Where is the reclamation priest? So, contacting the city and waiting for a few hours. Strange. You think that I can assimilate them to the general public or give them to a reclamation priest? I swear I'm paying attention on, on, on the lore. Oh no, yeah, the priest here, the good priest. Who are you? You may have everyone fooled, but I see what you're doing here. The cop. This guy wants to attack me now? Really? I'm going to kill him in front of these guards. of gold sends you scurrying like a rat. Excuse me, but the temple is... Oh no, it's... it's oh, yes, yeah, the guy from the temple. Elder Arthraloth is grooming me. You are the reclamation. Yes, sir. Heretics have been passing around these letters. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Safe travels. Gold. So, the reclamations herald the dawn of her worst words against theirs. Let's see the worst. If aid is can I move? <laughs> so now, oh, during guard movement after midnight, right? Let's do this. And I'll be sleeping. Yeah, like. I'm <laughs> going to be waiting here. Just be fucking tired so I cannot sound like worse anymore. That's not going to happen again. Nope. I need six, 14 hours. 15 hours. 14 hours. Yep. And then I'll be waiting for the guard to go. I'm fresh and hungry. <coughs> How is it that I don't recover this time when I sleep? What a bug. Seen a redoran guard before. Two, isn't it? Wait, did I lose it? What? Ouch. Um. Wait a second. Tell, convince. Tell me our worst words. Gather, see the temple, to search for those masks. Like, like Sato. Master being translated. He's being transported. Two guys looking to sell it to another buyer. Should watch the board right behind God's leading the post. Near midnight. What time is it? 11.36. Let me go Get back him. there.
Go home. This is illusions. This battle can last until midnight and pass. Maybe. Good enough. Okay, it's midnight exactly. Okay, I have to go down. Is it in the captain? Is it the bulwark? Like, it's inside? I'm confused. Oh, I have to go there? Alright. Is it the captain? I mean, this guy is the captain. So I already know? That's weird. Oh, it's the farm cellar? There's a cellar? I never saw a cellar! been here I didn't see a cellar oh it was here all alone I just didn't <laughs> yeah that's that's on me how the fuck didn't I see this Doing guards notes. Oh, I found a four gem. Very cool. And the mask of Vivac. For 20 years, all I've been is a lawyer guard. I do what I'm supposed to, pay my taxes and pray to the gods, but they return me no favors. I pray for riches and I get guard duty. I pray for a good woman and I get more guard duty. Now I'm supposed to deliver this expensive looking mask to the temple. Well, it's time I made my own luck. I'm selling the thing to this imperial matter at the Natch. I'll just tell the priest the bloody mask got swallowed by a guard, so good luck finding it now. 20 years and I've never spoken a lie. They'll have no choice but to believe me. Wow, the guy decided to fucking corrupt. Oh my god, that's fucking horrible. I almost feel bad for him. Hmm. 
And all the phone too, he was not. I mean, I'm 38 for 20 years, for 20 years, for 20 Really? So then you... Oh, come on. Now what? Missing current. In Kagrenzel, oh, I have to go there. First, I have to discover Kagrenzel. Then I go there and discover this shit. Kyoborn Barrow. Can I go there now? Like, I'm, I'm going. It's right here. I have room. I'm very well rested. Let's go. Can I not climb here, really? Go <laughs> beyond barrel. So that is. There's something you need. I do want to start an expedition. Who told you that? Was it Geldis? I told that idiot not to send me anymore. <laughs> it probably can't hurt to tell you. You look mostly honest. The name's Rollis. <clears throat> Rollis Sedaris, out of Morhold. I've got a financier waiting for me back on the mainland. Sent me here in the interests of obtaining some rare antiquities. The relics of Arzador. But this whole thing became a disaster right quick, let me tell you. What happened? You come out of the northern ashlands, you don't expect things to go easy, you know. But this was something outside my particular expertise. When I first got to Colbjorn, you couldn't even see it. Buried in the ash, like most other things on this blasted island. Dug out a pile of the stuff taller than me just to find the barrow. Who knows how much to reach the door. Excavating isn't exactly my specialty. Even if it was, the ash storms fill it in faster than you can dig. Why not? Wow! <laughs> Why not hire some of the miners out of the Raven Rock? You think I've got that kind of money? No, I only get paid on delivery. Can't afford to go out of pocket for a thousand septums on this. Takes money to make money, all that rot. There's a lot of it at the other end. But I can't get there without a little kick to start it off. I've got some money. Are you looking for a partner? What? Are you... Are you serious? Well, I think I could make that work. We can sort out the details of our little arrangement later. But for now, I'll manage the dig if you can manage the coin. Do you have the gold? Of course. Hmm. It's all here. Well then, looks like I have a good bit of work to start on. I'll head back to Raven Rock and round up some diggers. Once we've got something worth looking at, I'll send word to you. Pleasure doing business with you, partner. I'll see you soon. Nice. The Journal of Freddy Sedaris. Moving on to source time next. Chasing after vague rumors of this Carl Bjorn Barrow. My patron seems confident we can find the relics of Azidal out here. I'm a bit skeptical, but so long as it plays well, I'll dig whatever the old cult likes. <laughs> Initial prospects look poor, to say the least. I was sure I had my map wrong at first, until it became clear that the place had just been lost to the ash. I'll dig out as much as I can, maybe see if I can recruit some of the local residents to help me out. I haven't seen, seen anyone since I got out of Raven Rock. Rock. Uh, but I keep hearing conversations and whispers around me, so I just need to track them down. Okay. It's being sleeping here. Look at the dead site. Very common, we're funding an expedition. It's 
so Q General Fox Carrios. Oh, 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 oh. The next death something is death brand is is where? Um so one two found those two down. I have to found the ones up. Right? Let me see if that's correct. Yeah, I found this one here. The other one is it's right here. And the other one I don't I don't even know. Oh the one is an island. So time to explore a bit. Time to explore a bit. I love this part. <laughs> Who doesn't love to explore? There is an old shack here. What's going on? Souls Time Explorer. Nice. Oh shit. Since the beginning of the stream, there's something in my eye, dude. I'm trying not to hurt my own. So much, please. <laughs> the cat's now here. This fox down here. She's like a little spiral, a little curly thing. Sorry. It's Empire. Riches every time that I find these strong boxes. It's all good. The house didn't have much to be honest. Continue to the south. And then I'm probably in the southernmost part of the island. Yeah, I am. Let's go to this Fort Ross Moth. I said I'm well rested. Let's explore. The island looks big in the map when you press M, but it's actually kind of small. There's a wreck here. Not really.
It is a wreck. It's going to be explored right now. Of course it's going to be explored right now. How would you think? It's kind of dark though. It's very dark. entrance get some fish some clown anything else but oh skeleton gold from a skeleton yeah I cannot salute that all right I'm freezing though. What frost? Before the fort, let's check this little tower here. Oh, I thought it was invisible, but it's actually the steam. The steam above it was like making their money. Not hungry yet. Check here. Is that an entrance here? No, I think it's just sand. Just sand. Yeah, the trees got destroyed. Wow, imagine this ash, all this ash destroying the whole island. Men, an invader has entered the fort. Prepare yourselves for an ambush! Fort Frostmoth will never fall. Long live the Empire! What? So they're Ash Pawn. They speak like they're from the Empire, too. Right? Weird as fuck. His voice was clear. His voice was actually clear. Man, I have many soul gems. Leave the empire. So they became these ash spawns. And then these ash spawns are being commanded by this general. Yeah. And he's surviving to now. As an ash spawn, probably. Like a powerful one. I need to kill him. Sort of this curse-ish. 
is removed. Or not even removed, like stops happening. So apparently the guys are dead anyways. I don't see anybody on the rooftops. Now that's that's the forts and there's that. Oh I oh shit. What first? I think we leave from there. Possibly. Probably. Potions. It's a full fort. Destroyed, ravaged by ash. What? What? He finally can die? No? Weird, right? Okay, miss many arrows on him. Whatever. So now goes to one side, goes to the other. Let me start to the left. This was a proper fort. A working proper fort. Imperial fort even. I can sleep in this bed. Okay, good. I can sleep in this bed. One hour. Good. And I'm still a little hungry. So of course we're going to go for apples. We're fed. Wait a second, so you're going to the left here. Goes to the rooftop. Some training room. Yep, that's the rooftop. Immolator. Trying to spawn, Ash spawns with fire. Not bad. <laughs> I 
updated can I do? That's pretty good. About to level up, by the way. I'm not going to stop this sneak attack. This thing is maintaining the sneak attack so that you can. Spend less arrows and less enchantments for chip. Same kill. That was a good one. And they leveled up. Nice. Did play talent, yeah, that's pretty good. I think I'm coming back to sleep there and level up. I'm going for magic and I want to play a little bit of spells. Is here now. I'm keeping the perk. I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I don't want to commit mistakes or anything. Right now, I don't need anything as well. Oh, is that a chest? Did I miss a chest? I, I totally missed a chest. <laughs> Immense chest here, miss. Letter to Selena 4. 200 years ago later. My dear Selena, this is my last letter. I don't know if you'll ever get any of them, but I'll keep them on me in case I'm ever found. Something happened here, Selena. It was horrible. Something's happened at the Red Mountain, but I can't describe it. It's as if hundreds of oblivion gates opened at once at its summit and it's spitting fire and death in all directions. Fort, Fort Frostmoth has been completely destroyed. The walls crumble like loose dirt and the land is on fire. Everything around me smells of ash and of death. I don't know where anyone is. I've been trapped in one of these lower sections of the fort and I don't expect to be rescued anytime soon. I miss you, Selena. I want to hold you and the children in my arms and tell you that everything is going to be fine. But I don't think that it will ever happen. Give my love to Syracos and Atia for me. That and their father died bravely defending the empire, so they can hold their heads high when they speak of me one day. And you, my love, when you close your eyes at night, think of me so my spirit can finally come home. You're always and forever Maximian Axius, three sons down for E5. Rough. They know how to fucking do their thing. Oh, that's that's that door. That's that door. So there's the webs path, and there's this path. I'm gonna go to the webs first. Is 
Gem plane flying with spider. What? That's a large spider. It's not as big as the other ones, but it's definitely large. And they burn to nothing. <laughs> they burn ruby yield. Nice, but there is another spider here. I can tell. No, there's not. Disgusting. Okay, let's let's farm this. Ruby Jewel. Ruby. Oh, right here. Cool. Ouch! Really? How did I see this? God damn it, she fucking startled me. Fuck. This game mean it's it's okay. Jump scares. Okay, lost the arrow. I was almost stepping on this. this Mother is almost waking up. stop at mining but then so it's time <laughs> i don't even know what i'm going to use have some for but i want to have them i'm going to be wasting them i know these valuables of speech so level so yeah this place was just a bonus and the fire spiders they they completely burn <laughs> they become vapor Sorry. Wait a second. Now these are coffins, not vampires. So gym large enough. Okay. Man, I started burning. Just noticing. Holy shit! Useless. Imagine everybody dying. In this fort. Holy. Shit. Are they going to raise? They're going to raise. They're going to raise. I know it. Iladir's Iladir Journal? 
It's been almost a month since unearthing the crypt at Fort Frostmouth, and I haven't seen a single spark of life in the general's remains. Grafting the hearthstone to the subject is proving much more difficult than I originally anticipated. I've used almost every method I can think of, and still there's no sign of reanimation. At this rate, I, I, it could be years before I make any progress. There's a fucking necromancer behind it. Which is time that I just can't afford right now. If my vengeance is to come to fruition, I need results. If not, I may need to resort to more drastic measures. 15 days later, it finally appears that I'm... Sorry, making some progress. After my latest experiments, General Carius' eyes briefly opened and he moved his arms. It lasted for less than a few moments, but it's the first sign of progress I've seen since I arrived here. A few of my assistants were insisting that I was imagining things, but I dismissed them for their insolence. They won't be bothering anyone ever again. Okay, well, they, they're bad. They, they're dead. <laughs> General Carius awoke fully today. He bolted upright after my incantations and began staggering around like a blind man. He seemed to ignore my commands. In fact, hearing my voice seemed to increase his hostility. I was able to remove the heartstone before he became violent. But this isn't a result that I expected. Even though he's able to be awakened, I feel as though the real work has just begun. Day 59 now. <sighs> Sorry. The general is still unable or unwilling to listen to my commands. He's acting increasingly paranoid and appears to have his own free will. He's convinced that I am a spy of the enemy, and I've had to restrain him to prevent him from outright attacking me. This is becoming intolerable. I'm beginning to wonder if someone with a heartstone can be commanded at all. If my experiments with General Carius fail, I may have to report to self-experimentation, something I've been avoiding for a long time. What the fuck? We are going to face a crazy necromancer or something, right? Come on, give me some gold. Okay, gold. Don't judge me, I'm just a hoarder. I love to loot. So was empty, I didn't even notice. Bro. Knapsack is the key. This goes here. Let's open. There's some meat and some wheat. Daedric Sword of Storms. Yeah, that's valuable. That's not going to be showcased. It was just going to be. Um, oh, there's two coffins here, of course. Um, that's it? Oh, there's an objective here appearing now. Outside. Oh, there, 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 there. Yeah. This is the general. Then approach. Damn you. Mercy. How is he alive now? I failed. How the fuck is he alive? What the fuck? Champion schedule, nice. He was fucking alive, what the fuck? How was he alive? 200 years pass.
That is so weird. Two hundred year gold garlic, golden old, three hundred garlic. Because I'm going to say garlic with G, so I said gold. Two hundred year old garlic. I uh, guess I can stand up. Go up to. Of course, a dagger. I don't remember this. Yeah, there's oh Daedric helmets and iron armor of minor illusion. Yeah, that's shitty and I'm encumbered. Oh my god, I'm encumbered. Why? Do I have a potion of strength here? I don't think so. I do not. But I finished, I finished this place. I'm going back to bed. To 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 bed. Going back to the city. <laughs> Too bad. What? Going to bed soon, yeah. But I'm not going to bed now. To the north. West. Northwest. To the northwest, yes. Yeah, right there. There's two quests to finish, two to deliver. What time is it? It's midday, it's perfect. It's midday, but you can barely see anything. Man, that's so cool, all this ash. Wait for my mother to wake up and then I talk to her. Hidden things, things you aren't supposed to know. Slow down there. What are you going on about? You don't believe me. No one does. They don't want to. I don't want to either. But I can't help it. They're in my head. What is in your head? Secret hidden things. Secrets? What kinds of secrets? Uh, the secret kind. All right, then where did you learn these secrets? The black book. It shoved them in oh, there God. with black, slick fingers. My fingers are too short. I can't get them out. Where did you find this black book? Oh, no, I didn't find it. It found me. Here, I'll show you. See? Right there. Show but don't the go map. there. You don't want these things in your head. Don't you don't. Power. You don't. Oh, really? Ah, found you. Oh, bastard. What the fuck, man? I'm so gym large enough. Poor dude. Scribbles of a madman. Black slimy fingers, black slimy words, black slimy book. The tell me through tower black like the back of my eyes, but darker. Get these things out of my head. Tell me through it's it's the the mushroom, isn't it? Yeah. I mean I I already have it, don't I?
What's this? No spiders. Very strange spiders. It's busier now that things are starting to look up. I get Absolutely. Here's your payment. See for yourself. Let's turn 84 gold. Yeah, it's some expensive shit here. By the way, let me equip like the correct. You need any supplies? Oh, the captain's going. I have to not be encumbered, so let me save the game and reset him. As usual. If you're looking to buy, take a look. I'm not encumbered anymore. What news do you bring from Fort Frostmoth? He killed General Cardius. I had my suspicions that he was undead. How else could he have survived for over 200 years? It's a shame. <coughs> quite a few tales of General Cardius' exploits, including the founding of Raven Rock. You can no longer send our spawn to Raven Rock. Councillor Morvane told me to give this to you if you made it back in one piece. And you got rid of General Carius. Better than a soldier's pay, so you should be thankful. 10,000 gold? Okay, did you need something from me? I'm sorry to bother you, but Second Councillor Rano asked me to come find you. He said it's quite urgent. Did he say what he was about? All he wanted me to do is track you down and send you to him. Look, this is important. Even more important than wiping out the ash spawn. Please, go speak to the second counselor as soon as possible. Okay. Servant cold. We're going to be doing that. But I want to sell my shit first. Make it quick. Just what you see here. If you need any supply... And save, and then reset him and sell the shit. Yes, you know what... It's busier. Everything I've got on display, really. <laughs> wow, rip. If you need any... Yes? Take a look. Oh no! You did back. Oh. Mistakes were made. Need any supply? This gives you a little bit more speech because when you sell and buy, it's like doesn't matter. It gives you make it everything I've got on display, really.
If you need any supply... See for yourself. Good. Now I'm going to put away some things. And then go to the second. Mask of Vivek. Oh, I can't put away this. This. Good, right? 283? Is what? What? Why am I so heavy? What the fuck? Is it all potions? It's potions and it's food. Yeah, don't even need to ask. It's, it is food. I need to eat this food, all this food. I, I keep picking food up. Fucking hell. Well fed. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go there to the guy. If you've got any gripes, check in at Morvane. Second council of Ron will sort you out. Isn't he here? What? Oh. Serve House Redoran or serve no one. Thank you for coming. After everything you've already done for Raven Rock, I hate to ask for more. But I can't risk Councillor Morvain being killed. What? Isn't Dedrick being killed? How? The Ulan family of House Lalu, a rival great house, has placed a death mark on the Councillor's head. Why would the Ulans want him dead? It's a private matter. Let's just say... They seek revenge for the execution of one of their own, ordered by Councillor Morvane himself. The problem is, I don't have any solid proof that any one of the Confessionalu is hidden among us. Only my suspicions. Your concern seems... Okay, uh, he ordered the execution, it's on his head, not yours. Now that's just ridiculous. As second councillor, it's my responsibility to protect Councillor Morvain from harm. I'm afraid that one day I'll awaken and discover him dead. And I don't want it to come to that. You feel an attack at the council is imminent? I do. I've received some information from my sources that there could be elements of Ulan's house, House Lalu, already in Ravenrock. Why haven't you acted on the information? Ravenrock is a small settlement, so it's hard to accomplish anything in secret. If any of them is from House Lalu, I wouldn't be able to make a move without them knowing. How can I help? I had a feeling you'd be willing to listen to me. Where do I begin? I need you to start out by being my eyes and ears. Search Ravenrock and see if you can root out these traitors. The best place to start would be Geldis Sadri, over at the Retching Netch Corner Club. If he provides you any leads, check them out before bringing them to my attention. I can't afford to make any mistakes. 
What can we tell about House Lalu? Traitors. A lot of them. Their collaboration with the Empire may have given them unrivaled political and economic strength, but their hearts weren't with the Dunma people. I presume that was their downfall. Lalu deserved every bit of hatred they received once the Empire released its grasp on Morrowind. Having passed ties to the Empire immediately turned them into the scapegoat for the Dhamma people's suffering. What happened to House Lalu as a result? They had welcomed the Empire with open arms and benefited from it. When everything was said and done, they were no longer recognized as a great house and were dismissed from the council. Mission your sources. I maintain a few contacts in other Dunma settlements across Tamriel. Most hail from House Redoran, but there are a few from other houses. Why don't you ask them to investigate? Most of my contacts live leagues away from Solstein. Sending the occasional message back and forth is all we can manage, and sometimes takes months or more to arrive. However, any information we can glean in times like this, I consider vital to House Redoran's survival. Why do the Dumber hate the Empire? During the Oblivion Crisis, gates to the Plain of Oblivion opened all over Morrowind. The Empire pulled most of its forces out of Morrowind to deal with the gates in their own homeland, leaving us virtually defenseless. We had no standing army at the time, just uncoordinated pockets of resistance. How did the Dumber survive this at all? House Redoran took charge and was slowly able to build an army. It took years, but it became a force to be reckoned with. When the Argonians invaded years later, House Redoran's army was able to prevent them from sweeping across all of Morrowind. It would be fair to say that House Redoran literally saved the Dunma people from destruction. Okay. Don't worry. It's in the inn. <coughs> I don't know what you're playing at, Wilma, but something about you just doesn't add up. Understandable. With the Ashborn threat taken care of, I the difficult command in the Red Orange Guard can be. Even the most experienced warriors can fall prey to petty distractions. They usually didn't amount to much, but they make my job that much harder. Petty distractions? Some of my own men have become quite accustomed to a spirit they call. Ember brand wine. Despise the stuff myself. It's powerful and tremendously addicting. Oh. I've seen men fail to finish even a single flask. If I knew where they were stashing the bottles, I'd put an end to it myself. Could track this stash down for you. You would? That would be helpful. I just don't have time to do it myself right now. Any idea where I can begin? Now they're too smart to have left it in the bulwark. I'd search one of the abandoned houses on the outskirts of town. Oh, okay. All right. As soon as you are, are you wearing? Ah, this is bone mold armor. Quite impressive, wouldn't you say? It's fashioned from actual bone that's been reinforced with a resin-like material and then shaped to form the armor plating. It might appear brittle, but I'd wager it could stop the blow of a weapon better than iron or steel. Who are the Redoran Guard? All of the soldiers in this town are Redoran Guard. Some of the best warriors that House Redoran has to offer. I've spent quite a few years honing their skills, and I can assure you they're not just your average city guard. Why have such elite soldiers on these islands? To protect Councillor Morvane, of course. He has quite a few friends on the council back in Morrowind, and they wanted to ensure his safety while he was here. Other than that, I'm not at liberty to discuss it. Okay. Let's find his stash. Is it even here? Well, 
with the Aspawn threat. Found Deborah Good. Safe. This will help me keep things running without having to worry about a bunch of soldiers falling asleep on duty. Here, take this for your trouble. Okay. Two thousand gold. And the wine. Give me this shit. Imagine arriving there. Hey, from the wine. It's a barrel. <laughs> He's like, okay, you've been tasting a little bit of it, <laughs> don't you? Weren't you? So, yeah, I have to speak to him, but I wanted to, to disable the other stone. I want to advance the main quest line. But what's the other stone? Waterstone. Um, okay, I, I've been there. In fact, I woke up there once, so let's go there. Probably be able to get to to the to the treasure too. By the way, let's get to the treasure. Death brain treasure map. Up the river. Oh, it's it's for, for. Oh, I mark it. I mark it right on top of the treasure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's for, it's far. For. What's this? What's this? What's this? Roll of paper, ruined book, pickaxe, and some satchel. No idea. Here before I clear this place. Oh. Maybe there's a response. I don't know. I don't find this mine. Let me pass uh, th straight through it. Without discovering it. I don't want to discover it and not explore. <laughs> it helps me. And then I'm going to destroy or deactivate this water storm, by the way. Oh, I have to learn. Oh yeah, the guy was behind it, right? The little shit. I still need 50 spears. Are you crazy? Is that a dragon? Jesus Christ, dude.
there's a fucking dragon on me. See the fucking dragon though. Dude, I'm killing you right now. Just appear. Ah, uh, he's okay. Let me check these people. We're already late. Dude! I don't want friendly fire. Come here, dragon. Okay, let me talk to them again. Best be shoving off. Think we've got to get back to our ship now. Best be shoving off. Ships. All of them have names. I don't want permanently dead NPCs. There's no way. Fuck are you going? I just discovered the mine that I didn't want to discover. Oh god damn it you fucking dragon. So I have to go for like a place. God fucking damn it. Dude. Seriously, where's the... Tr what? Am I on top of it? Look for Wook's brother, Tokyo, examine Tokyo. Well, um, what? <gasps> oh my fucking god, dude. There it is. Okay, let me... Okay, that's the damp hall mine. I'm going to come back here. Get the fuck away from me. First one to check around this thing. Then got the, the, the death rain, death rain, death something. The treasure. Then I go back to the mine. of life added. <coughs> use everyone close to the castle 330 points. Single use they must be reacquired at the water stone. Very powerful. Dude, why don't you go... What? So you're going to land far from me? This is bullshit. Bullshit. Absolute bullshit. That's my little horse, but then hits. Let me try to go to a higher position. This one.
Yeah, this is a normal jump. I need these spears. Give me a I had three pierce on him. <laughs> it's all respawned. Nice. What at all? Spears already have. 24 is going to be kind of fast. So now for this mine. What's going on in this mine? Dude, I'm already almost encumbered. Oh my fucking god. Okay, let's go back to the city. I don't want to enter this mine and then get encumbered in the middle of it. Oh to craft some more dragon bone arrows what time is it late Bone arrows, dragon bone arrows, dragon bone arrows. I'm, I'm interviewing the people here. I work for Mogul. You got a problem? You talk to him. Work on those standing steps. Bad dream. Glad I brought this from him. Delta. I want you to let me know if you see Drayler with Captain Veleth. I don't trust him. She's not a little girl anymore, Feathers. When are you gonna let him go? Welcome to the wretching next so you might be able to help me. Well, well. Agile's got himself a spy, does he? Azura knows he needs all the help he can get. He's been chasing the Ulins for years now. So he where do he's you mistaken. No, lover. I just think he's going about this the wrong way. Have any you have a better idea? Actually, I do. I do. If you want to catch those slippery slaughterfish, you <laughs> need to let them come <laughs> to you. Smith as well. Hmm. How do I get them to do that? There's an Ulan ancestral tomb near the temple. Someone's been leaving ash yam offerings on the altar inside. If you were to wait inside for whomever that is, I'm betting they'll have some of the answers you're looking for. Okay. 
I need to tell Adriel about this. What makes you think I have it? Any time Adriel and the Redoran Guard made a move, the Ulans must have been one step ahead and didn't show up. Thanks for the tip. You can thank me if it works. Until then, I'd head to the tomb and wait until your visitor shows up. Why did Dunmer leave Ashiams in her tomb? When the Dunmer is laid to rest, the body is burned and returned to the ashen soil. Since the Ashiam is born of the very same soil, it represents rebirth and renewal. Mm -hmm. The fact that life ends and begins anew. Why did Castle Morav more Vyanx he could an Olin? Back in 95, Vila Ulin came to Ravenrock with a plan to take over our town. But Fetcher thought he could stir up the locals and use them against the Redoran Guard, and then murder Councilman Morvane when we weren't looking. Villar did this alone? He arrived alone, but spread enough coin around to start changing people's minds. Half a bloody town joined his side. Can you believe that? How did Villar get caught? He underestimated the Redoran Guard. They were organized and brought a swift end to the coup. Vila tried to run, but he was caught by Captain Veleth himself. Vila Ulan was executed a short time later, and his remains placed in the Ulan ancestral tomb. Okay, let me rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. That's good for 11 hours, right? To be enough. It's busier now that things are starting to look up. I guess I might stay a bit lower. This one doesn't fall, doesn't change. <laughs> yeah, everything I've got on display, really. Okay, I'm good. Let's go for the stone. Yeah, let's get drunk. <laughs> Nord Mead? Why do I have Nord Mead? Discover the identity of the tomb's visitor. Is that woman? Okay, report back to Adriana. Planning any trouble. Shut the fuck up. I hope Gelder's. Like, since everyone is the corporate. Tell us who. Are you sure? 
Saw her in the one too. So Geldus's plan worked, eh? Every time we tried it, no one would ever show up. If Telesul's involved in any sort of plot to harm Councillor Morvain, I'm going to need hard evidence to prove it. So go search the house. I'm not kicking down anyone's door until I have solid evidence in hand. If you're wrong about Telesu, things would quickly go downhill around here, and the real culprits might slip away. I can't afford for that to happen. Yeah, that's right. If they try to stop me. If you have evidence and it places your life in peril, I would expect you to do whatever you must to keep yourself alive. Here, this key should open the front door of the manor in case they've locked it. Good luck. Uh, why, do, why do the Ulans have a tomb in Ravenrock? Villa Ulan wasn't the first Ulan to live in Ravenrock. His father, Valen Ulan, was one of the first Dunmer to settle here. Unlike his son, Villa, Valen <clears throat> was a good man. He contributed to the community and was quite respected. When Valen died, his family provided the funds to construct the tomb. But you told me House Lalu was slight. The Ulin family being a part of House Lalu didn't matter. It's Dunmer's tradition for the ashes of the deceased to be placed in an ancestral tomb. Valen Ulin and his son's remains were both laid to rest there because that's what he'd requested. Can you tell me more about the Severin family? Tell us who is wife to the family patriarch, Vendor. They have a single child, a daughter named Miri. They arrived here ten years ago and have been nothing but a benefit to Raven Rock ever since. A benefit? How? They are quite wealthy and they've been quite generous by sharing their fortune with the community. They've contributed coin, food, supplies, even helped repair a few of the buildings in town with their own hands. What's the energy about them at all? People have mentioned it's a bit odd about how close in age Mary appears to be to her father, but that's hardly a cause for alarm. Just make sure you find solid evidence. If I accuse them without it, I'll be the laughing stock of the colony. Okay. I'm just got to bed from here very fast. I think we just need some going to just wash in my nose. Okay, it worked. The itch to sneeze passed. Careful. The severance. I can't believe Raven Rock Mine is open again. Finally. Mm. Something worth defending. It's a very manner. Are they here? Books. Oh, that's that's my future house. Ah, so we find evidence and then the house is ours afterwards. That's very cool. This is nothing. Yeah, it's it's fully equipped to be the Dragonborn's house. That's why I was like, mm, what's going on here? Let's jump down. It's probably in the map or something. It isn't. Recover evidence. It's going to be further from here. Oh, 
shit. You're listening to me? Really? I want to do this well. I, mean, I don't want to kill them. There's a chance that some of them are nothing. Somebody safe. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, I don't think I can bring the evidence to a deal. I don't know. I can pick up everything here without stealing. Nice. But here, and everything is going to be stolen. Dear Councillor Selden. In a matter of days, I believe we'll be ready. Our forces hidden within Ashfellow Citadel have been training night and day. Ready to strike when we give the signal. With Captain Veles distracted by the Ash spawn attacks, the timing seems perfect. I've waited nearly a decade to exact my revenge upon Lady Morvain. For the death of my ancestor and I long for the moment my blade will be drawn across his throat. The next letter you'll receive from me will include his head in a sack. It's played proudly in the house of House Lalu, brother. Vendi Olin. Okay, holy shit. Fucking easy. No, you guys it, stay I think there. We might have a visit. I might have woke up. Let me talk to her. Oh, dear boy.
Sorry, I was talking some... Organizing some things, like giving the report of the early morning for her, like that I cleaned the litter box, there's food for the cats, this cat ate, this cat didn't eat, so whatever. Well, let's report back. <laughs> I'm so curious to see what's going on. And I'm going to have a house. I'm going to fucking have a house, I know it. That is my house. Like, it's very obvious. Or is it? Did you find any evidence at Severin Manor yet? I found evidence proving the Severin's gifts. Give me and my house. we finally have them. All that remains now is chasing them down and bringing them to justice. I don't think they'll give up willingly. Really. Good. <laughs> Go I'm going to send it. two of the best Rerun guard we have to take them down. I want you to assist them any way you can. They will be doing that. Have that immediately. See that you do. We can't afford to let these traitors slip away. It's my house. It's my fucking house in Soul's time. Citizen. Meet. I don't need to meet. I'll just go there and execute myself. Isn't this here? Let's go give my house. <laughs> Where are them? Are they still in that place that I put them to look for me? Are they upstairs and I didn't see them? Where are you? They're not. I have to group with somebody, right? Meet up, yeah. What? Oh, we have to attack the... Okay, oh, that's, that's even more interesting. <laughs> Yeah, let's fucking go. Yeah, correctly. Oh shit, I still need... What is this? Oh, cleaned. I still need to go to this one. Dump... F dump how mine. But I'm so thrilled to get my house. I want my house. Give me my house. I want to showcase shit. I want to fill those mannequins there with the things that I've been finding here. I mean, this is, this is a thrill. This looks silly in the beginning. When you have nothing, you still are leveling, you barely have money. But then you start to accumulate things, it's nice to showcase shit. It's really cool. It feels silly. It looks small. But it, it's it's really pleasant. I really like this this aspect of the game. Okay, where is the guard? Um, what? Oh, oh no! It's so far from me. It's far, far, far. River Outlaw. Red Cure all right here. I'm warning you. Back off. I'm warning you. Back off. Time to die. You all dead?
I don't want those. Ouch. Yeah, I even need to check. These are very, very valuable. You can only, you can just get everything there. Everything's fine. Never should have come here. What? Where are? You? Can't hide from me. What are you assassin? Give me your soul, motherfucker. It's not even large enough, fortunately. Bracton armor? Oh. We should have this to, sh to showcase too. I already started, boys. Oh, they they died. Oh, now I get it. The original guards are dead. Oh my god, that's why. Alrighty, look at the second one. Yeah, I mean, let's end the fucking threat then. Let's fucking go. I should follow Citadel. It's all for my house. <laughs> my house. We killed the guards, man. What the fuck? Before I enter here, let me check the all of it. This sounds... It makes those time really peculiar. I think I'm going for a whirlwind sprint there. Can I go? I think I can. Make this a little different from here, maybe. Right? I think it looks good. Yes. Is there a trap door here? Ah, it's just ash. It's just ash. Okay. Oops.
the right is a face and then higher. I'm getting the the rare books now. Starring Diary of Malediction. Okay, get that. some ingredients. A trend of threats. It's not my time. Never saw me. I'm fucking invisible. <laughs> this much. This much stealth. Miri Severi. And a reach too. This guy had good arrows. Whoa. Guy had good arrows. So if I open this one, what, is, what does this do? Okay. This is like a training area. That they were probably training. What's this? I've been sold. Oh, okay. Traps and traps, many, many traps. Got a path through here, I'm good. Wait a second, let me save this. I don't lose like 20 minutes. This is severing. Anybody there? 
give it up. I join you yeah, in death. They had dragon bone arrows. No, bone arrow. Pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, that's why. Some dead people here. I mean, very nice is a bit, bunch of water, and <laughs> the prisoners being tortured by being underwater. Jesus Christ, holy shit. Alright, he's done. Very cool, man. very cool. The level design is just impeccable. It keeps being impeccable. Very cool. By the way, I'm going to check the black book in this place, and then I go to the, to the town, right? What are you doing here? You have to kill this. I'm still chasing my horse, really? Come on. Yep, yeah, their loot is all valuable. You just you press R. The Mithrin. So there's a black book here. And we talk to the guy as well about the ruins. Good day, friend. Keeping well? Have you seen Verona? I'm hungry. I haven't seen Verona. Well, find her. Tell her I want apple cabbage stew with some canis root tea. Um, why don't you just make your own tea? What? Make my own tea? <laughs> I am a master wizard of the house, Telvani. <laughs> Other people make tea for me. Oh no. Hey, I'm not your servant. Obviously not, or you would have a cup of tea in your hands. <laughs> I suppose uh -huh. you want to be asked nicely. Very well. 
please, O oh hero of Skyrim, <laughs> please find Verona. I shall be ever so <laughs> grateful. Um, okay. <laughs> Do you have for I saying? suppose I could dig up a staff or two for you. Um, mortal wings. Have you for research? I do have a new spell I'm working on. I hope to be able to conjure ash spawn. If I could get a sample of ash from an ash spawn, that would be quite useful. I've made this special tool that will extract. Well, you don't need to know the details. Just go oh, harvest a sample. Of course, the creature will have to be dead first, but I trust that's something you can bring about. Do I? Oh no, I have to extract the dash. Actually, extract the dash. Now, where did I? Oh. And like, do I? I wouldn't if I were you. Yeah, let me do that first. I think I have to earn his right to get the key and, and get that black book there. But yeah, I think it's not going to be that hard to find their spawn. Where the fuck? From that look on your face, I'm guessing you've never seen a silt strider before. No, what this is it? It's dusty. I personally trained her from a lava. Feels like a lifetime ago now. She hasn't been in traveling condition for quite a while now. I've tried to let it go off on her own, but she insists on staying here. How do you survive while well here? We get bar trade nods and ends with the locals. I've decided to stay here and make sure she passes in peace. It's the least I can do for her. Every once in a while a local makes it out here. Although they usually just want to catch a glimpse of Dusty. Silt striders are pretty rare now. I'd like to purchase the Nick's Hound. What sit striders? What would you like to know? Um, what were they used for? Mostly for transporting goods and people. They were pretty commonplace in Morrowind, but that was ages ago. A silt strider carapace is so strong it can withstand the harshest of weather. Even the legendary sandstorms of Valdenfell's Molagama region were said to barely make a dent in them. Of course, that's all ash now. Why are they so rare? The blast from the volcano wiped most of them out. Found Dusty in a small cave on Vardenfell. Silt Strider cocoons are pretty tough. Enough about this. Alright. I'd like to purchase the next hound. What do you got for sale? Take a look. Let me pet my cat a bit. <laughs> the game is paused. Oh my god, you didn't pet me in two days. Pet me, please. I didn't pet her yesterday, the whole day. I was very busy and then I streamed and she never came here and it's very cold here in the city, so... I mean, for, for my standards at least, and for this cat's standards for sure. That she just kept sleeping and... and uh, th there's like a cat bed that we bought that is very, very cozy. A bunch, I mean. And she was in one of them, and she would just leave to poop, to eat, and then go back to sleep there, cozy. And now she's here, she's very happy <laughs> being pet. Look at this shit. <laughs> oh my god, this please pet me.
She likes to do this thing of str scratching her face on me or something. Okay, sometimes she just wants to stay uh, uh, on the lap, like this, so I'm going to just... It's better because I don't have to, to cover her little butt <laughs> on the camera. It's weird because she's blind from this eye here, so she tries to just take care, and I tr I try to take care not to touch the, because the blind eye keeps being open, so I try to not touch the sensitive, the eye, which is sensitive. She likes to be pet in like in like the apple of the face, like like here. So I do like this, like, I do little things like this, look. I'm going to play a little more and then I'm going to wind the stream. I think she can stay here. My hands are crazy, I'm going to have to clean the mouse later and the keyboard. Because of her petting her. <laughs> well, that's fine. <laughs> Let me do this. Today's the last day that I'm using this. this uh, hoodie anyways, because it's three days and even though it's not in contact with my skin directly, like I've a shirt underneath it. Today I had a shirt, yesterday three, two shirts, the other day two shirts as well. But still, it gets dirty, so yeah, I want to... Oh, he barely has any money. I'll just sell him some food. Right? Why not? Safe travel. <laughs> Great for me in... No, no, follow me. Let's go. So she's fine. Short story of Morrowind. Okay, uh, look. I'm I'm so weird now, but I'm going to go to the the city, which then I'll probably receive. Oh shit! I have a bunch here. Oh come on, dude! Really? Oh no, but you're extra cash. 
he revived? What the fuck? He revived. Again, this shitty physics. Let's go back to him. I thought it was going to be longer. Oh look, this is a node snatch. I hadn't seen that. Very cool, man. Let me take a look. I thought it was a, an alive notch. It's a husk. Very fucking cool, man. And the cats just relax here, so happy because it's warm. Because like I said, it's, it's very cold. Oh, she left. Just because I said she was happy. <laughs> oh my god, I want to be pets. Pet me. You keep talking to this monitor there. So fucking cute, man. Let me escape here. Yeah, the camera is still on her. You can see how cute she is. She's so fucking cute. Look at this. <laughs> her tail. Her tail shows how happy she is. Like moving like this. It's, it's when they are very, very happy. If they are moving, like twitching the tail, it's they're, they're not like pleased with whatever is happening. So let me go to the mage. You found Ver Ash sample. Well done. Here are some septums for your troubles. If you come back in a day or two, I should have the spell worked out. You can buy it from Talvis. Okay. Who is? Where you come from? What I have for sale? Black boots. Where the black? Apparently, time is more malleable if you're the Daedric Prince of Fate and Destiny. She now, wants more. Well No, she doesn't want one. She wants to be in the beanbag. And the foxy is in the beanbag. But the foxy doesn't feel cold as she feels. I'm going to remove foxy from the beanbag and put her. Let me put Fox in the sofa. Hold on. Good 
tirei a raposa do, do, do povo porque a vida tá bom. Done. Foxy is in the sofa now. I mean, in the sofa, there's three cat beds. Drink water. There's three cat beds in the sofa, so Did I put you're oh, fine. Yeah. So are you opening that shit or not? My car is key. Like I asked you. Yes, Master. Although the Grand Soul Gem only has a common soul in it. Idiot! Those are hard to find. Next time, don't fill it at all if you can't do it properly. Master Eloth was furious with the tower with it. It just seemed one day I will inherit his power. Not recently. Neloth keeps me very busy with spell research. Ask Alenia. She and Verona seem to be quite friendly. Okay. Oh, I need training yes. conjuration, yeah. Yes, but don't tell Master Neloth. I'd have to give him your payment. Yes. Conjuration 80. Now to the city because I want my house. And this pet's going to stay in my house, my new house. <laughs> this thing is alive? Oh my god! It's actually the mount of the thing. Well, that's what he was referring to. He sold me the, the, the dog, but he was referring to this. The, the, the strider. Oh my god! Holy shit. Very cool, man. Very cool. But yeah, let's go there. I don't know, for some reason I thought he was referring to the Nyx dog. Burn Spriggan. Ouch, 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 ouch. Is this like a, a, a notable place? No, right? No. Let me kill. There, uh, there's, I think, fire salts that come from me. That's a way for, for healing, I think. Okay, Spriggan. Die. The other one is... There. Burn Spriggan wood. I have shit that I don't know, let me see. No, it's no. Move, basically. <laughs> it takes damage. It's so cool, it takes damage.
Searching match. It's busier now that things are... Absolutely. Here's your payment. Well, what happened? Were you <coughs> able to track down Vendel? Out with it! He's no longer a threat. Then, it's finally over. What of the Rerran Guard I sent to assist you? It's lame by the Morgaton. Damn it. I was hoping to protect our people by sending them, not end up with casualties. To think that Vendel would stoop so low as to hire those fetchers. I'm glad you killed him. I think it had to be done. Wonderful. Simply wonderful. Councillor Morvane will be quite pleased when he hears about this. Okay. Follow me, and I'll take you to the councillor so you can speak to him yourself. I don't call a little girl anymore, Feathers. What are you gonna let her go? That means something. And I have you to thank for it. This pet. So weird. How about you keep serving the the pet is blocking the stairs. Can't believe I got stuck here. This Stand aside, Outlet. With the asp threat taken care of. Well done. I trust you're not planning any trouble. <coughs> Excuse me, Traveling Councillor Moore. Work will be much safer as a result news. of your victory. <coughs> Adriel, I haven't seen a smile on your face like that in a long time. Visitor has single-handedly dealt with a threat that could have ended your life. Vendel, Telesu, and Miri Severin weren't who they appeared to be. I'm afraid they were here to avenge Villa Ulan's death. Vendel? But he's done so much for Raven Rock. How could this be possible? They did it to gain our confidence, Counselor. They had us all fooled. I should have been more vigilant. I'm sorry. Don't say that. It's not your fault, old friend. And you, step forward. What you've done for me, for all of Raven Rock, goes far beyond what I would have expected from a traveler to our town. For this, you have my deepest gratitude. And the house. Thank you, Counselor. Now, I'm certain Adriel was prepared to reward you appropriately for everything you've done. However, since a bit of coin hardly seems like enough, I've decided to provide something D the house, please. more substantial. <laughs> oh? Since the Severin family, or whoever they were, turned out to be criminals, their property is now forfeit. As counselor, I hereby award you Severin Manor and everything contained within. You've earned your citizenship here. And I hope you'll consider staying with us as a member of our community. Ravenrock owner. Cool. Very fucking cool. Now let me take my shit from the blacksmith's house. Including my beautiful Debella statues. <laughs> and then we're going to continue. I think I'm going to be encumbered, yeah. And then I'm going to pick up everything from here because I'm not coming back here. Including food. More coin. I mean, not that I'm not rich enough. I'm fucking rich. And oh? Oh, thief cash, yeah, sure. And there we go.
need to decorate the house right now. Wait a second, it's that one, right? I'm gonna shout. Yes. At once. These houses are nice, made like this. On the underground. Deaf brand, deaf brand. Here, new for struggling to robes. No, indorial armor, boots, gauntlets, and, and yeah, indorial. <laughs> Very cool. Now you. Those can cause helmets and robes. What? Oh, okay. Then you... It's going to stay with this tournament. Good. Mask of Vivek. Okay. No, okay, a quest center. Oh, no, what are the tone? What are the tone? Like this. Cool. Is that all for mannequins? Oh, come on, I wanted more. I'd have to go to Riften now to put away more shit there. Not even Riften, it's the other place. Now, Champions Kajo. Cleaver of Saint Films. And a shield here. Ordinator shield. Dude. <laughs> Impossible. Okay, nice. Cool. I'm still encumbered. I'm going to... Oh, okay, I have to put away more shit here. I'm going to put some pickaxes here. <laughs> oh shit, too quick. One. To my collection of ancient uh, pickaxes. Three. Now I'm going to stay with this one, okay. Then... Hmm. I'm still in comfort, god damn it. What else do I have here? Oh, the, be the Bella statues. Can I... I wanted to put this someplace. I need to leave one by this side of the... Bed. Oh! Who would have thought? An <laughs> other by this side of the bed. Okay. Oh, almost there. Oh, but I'm not mad. I have some booba here. Chest has some shit. Cat on fishing rod. Then what do I put away here? You know what? I think about this tomorrow. I, I, I need to go. I need to have breakfast don't, don't judge me breakfast then i'm going to sleep <laughs> that is actually breaking fast i'm fasting for nine hours now nine hours 14 minutes so i'll be streaming later today for sure i'm going to sleep wake up work out come here so thank you for being here i i need you to smile be awesome and, and drink water 
and that's out of order but yeah i'm kind of tired so i see you later thank you for being here i hope that you have enjoyed this bye